Oh, that wasn't so bad. I like that. What, the volumes? The, sti the stinger, <laughs> yeah. The stinger wasn't like gonna blow my eardrums out. I like that. I appreciate that. Hey, how is everyone else doing? Welcome in. Hello, Matthias. Hello, Collector. You are early, George. Hello, hello, and Maritime. I see you all here. Appreciate you keeping your streaks up and alive. Hello, Kiltmaster. Kilt how are you? Thank you for the sub. How's everybody doing tonight? How is everyone's evening going? Everyone it's, having a good time? It's Friday. Yes, all day. This time, guys, there's so much going on. Yeah, we missed. I need uh, my life to slow down for five minutes. <laughs> yeah, we missed uh, streaking through chat. Nice, Bell. Yes, that's right. Get your streaks on. Bell, uh, I love when you streak through my chat. Yup. <laughs> your cold's almost, almost gone. Good. I feel that. I uh, nine's not so much. No, no, it's mostly gone. It's mostly gone now. I said Wednesday. Wednesday basically dilapidated me. Um, dress is getting. <laughs> Uh, you know what? Uh, ours will set in on Monday or Tuesday. Um, mm, it's going to settle in for me Tuesday because I'm going to go into the office Tuesday, which means I lose the whole day of doing anything. So I will get a wonderful list. Hello, Sigmoid. How hey, are Sigmoid. you? So, but yeah, so, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, basically, in short, it's a wonderful day. How's everyone doing? We are we are headed out tomorrow to get cuts of the hair and then head to the York of New on the island that is long and then we come back uh, to finish packing uh, and then we get to uh, figure out what the whole deal with our EU counterparts is all about and why they are the way they are why they are the way that they are. Um, I just figure something in the water. Something about losing their tea, being upset about it still. I don't know. Something listen, like Ogre, listen, listen. That's not the Amsterdam, sorry. Uh, listen, I have had plenty of people in my 30, almost three years of existence on this planet that tell me, I want your honest opinion. And then you <laughs> give them an honest opinion know, right? and they're just like, well, that's just your opinion. You wanted one, you wanted one. So I always provide two answers. You don't strike me as the person who wants me to tell you a bold face lie. So I provided two answers just to cover my ass. That's what I do, you know? So I, I that's usually- what I'm You don't strike me as that type of person, but I, I just, I was just gonna cut to the chase. I'm gonna give you both answers up front, just, just so we can get that out of the way. So you can either love me or hate me and we're just gonna move on because I have a lot going on and, and, I just, I'm going to give you both answers. <laughs> I have gotten into the habit um, of basically asking people, you know, so what do you think? I'm like, first off, that's, the, that's a dangerous question to ask what I think. Second off, no one really cares. But is I tell people straight up, it's like, okay, do you want the truth or a bold faced lie? And they're like, uh, the truth, honest, uh, obviously. I'm like, no, you don't. You think you want the truth. You really don't want the truth because most, they're not going to like the answer. Most people don't. Most most people don't. And it's just nice, like, JC. Listen, I, don't, I don't have time for that. <laughs> Feel that. Ooh, movie marathon. Oh, Does. no. Poor thing. I hope she feels better. Right. Oof, there's a lot of stuff going around. Lots and lots of stuff going around. Is. So. It's caught all of it. <laughs> um but no so we we, we want to start out um and just kind of give you guys an explanation um obviously yes uh hey like we we did uh partially cancel stream because nine was very dead um i was we, mostly dead. when we went to bed tuesday night i was like are you okay he's like not really but he's like i'll be fine Wednesday morning, I asked him again. I'm like, do you want me to stay home from work? And he's like, I'm going to take you up on that. Nine doesn't normally do that. So when that happens, it's pretty bad. So I stayed home Wednesday and I stayed home Thursday. And then obviously I was home Friday. But uh, thir Wednesday, I also did get a call um, from my mom. 
Um, my grandmother got her PET scan back. Uh, for those of you who are maybe a little newer here, uh, well, she's easier. been kind of battling cancer for the last 20 years, uh, pretty, pretty consistently. Um, and they got her PET scan back. And my aunt, who has been a nurse for, God, I don't even know how many years now, um, and, and she's, she's run hospitals and seen everything, uh, she just kept apologizing Thank to my mom because she said, I, I have never seen a PET scan so bad. Um, the cancer, which was lung cancer this last time, um, has officially hit uh, everything. It is in her brain. It is in her organs. It is in her marrow. Um, my aunt basically said, start calling hospice. Do all the legal paperwork now. you don't really have time left. So um Love long. that was also Wednesday. It, just, it was it was just a storm. Yeah. Um for me, I've again, she's been doing this for 20 years, so it was inevitable. Uh we knew this time she wasn't going to really be able to do much about it. So um it was just kind of a matter of time but they said it is it is every single place it could possibly exist in a body um it's it's there uh so my mom called to kind of give me the heads up and so um on the weekends i'm probably going to end up going down to new york uh and and spend as many weekends as i can um, and let my son spend as many weekends as he can before it gets to a point where I don't want him to remember her in a in a in a bad state, right? I want him to have the good memories and the the, the remember the good things as much as a three year old's gonna remember. So, um, so that's kind of the news that was dropped on Wednesday. Again, we're we were expecting it. We knew it was going to happen sooner rather than later. Yes, this is my grandmother. Um, my, my relationship with my grandmother is, uh, different than some, uh, I lived with her my entire life when, uh, three months before my parents got very married back in 85, 1985, uh, my grandfather passed away suddenly. Um, he had laid down on the couch, had a heart attack and didn't wake up. So my mom and dad spent like maybe two years in their apartment and then my grandmother couldn't maintain the house on her own. So my parents moved in with my grandmother in, as I said, it was about 1987. And we've lived there forever. I came along in 91. So I, I grew up with her in, in that house my entire life. She was there for every single moment of my life. So like my dad's mother, she remembered me on occasion. When she was, she had every faculty about her when she remembered me. It was just, she had 14 grandchildren. I was always the forgotten one for whatever reason. But so like my, I wasn't super close with her. So for me, it's a very different relationship with her. And, you know, it's, she, she had a hand in raising me every day of my life. So, um, part of me is, you know, it was expecting this. So I've, I've been able to kind of deal with things in my own way for a longer period of time, but hearing it and actually having to do something about it and next steps and things like that, it's, it's a little slap of reality that you never want. Um, so Wednesday was a very heavy and, and difficult day. So, um, that was also part of why we had canceled stream. So, um, as I appreciate you guys, I know uh, a couple of y'all saw my post and immediately messaged me like, oh my God, what do I need to do? <laughs> um, and I very much appreciate that. But unfortunately, it is a situation where uh, there is, there's nothing in the world that could be done. Uh, she got 20 extra years of, of fighting cancer and and she's she's 80 um she has lived a phenomenal life so we're just uh like i said i may be a little more preoccupied than usual um as you know it could be three days three weeks three months it could be another three years um but obviously it's it's coming it's 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 coming to that point so now that we get that out of the way now we can talk about more fun things <laughs> and not this uh, because nobody wants to talk about this. It is not a fun thing to talk about. 
Um, but yes, nine nine has been sick. <laughs> so uh, like I said, Wednesday was a, was a good day. Um, but we have this weekend. So we impromptu changed our Easter plans. Thank you. Uh, changed our Easter plans uh, to uh, celebrate New York. The Easter Bunny will be visiting New York for my son this year. Uh, and we'll, we'll do a little something something down there for Easter instead. Uh, for us, we're not religious, so for us, Easter is the classic commercial holiday that we all come to know and love. <laughs> so uh, we the Easter Bunny can visit anywhere. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna go down Saturday, but we also have haircuts scheduled for the two of them on Saturday, and we don't have time to reschedule. So basically tomorrow, I'm gonna have a little bit of the morning to pack. We're going to get his Easter bunny picture done at the mall with the tweaker bunny. Uh, nine, if nine can find the picture, he can show you this this Easter bunny that looks high as a kite every year. Um, we're gonna get his his tweaker bunny pictures done. Uh, and then he is uh, going to get his hair cut and Nine's going to get his hair cut. So he looks pretty for Amsterdam. I know it is. It is. That's what we call it. We're like, oh, we're going to get the tweaker bunny pictures done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Some people are like, uh, context? No, you don't need any. Um, <laughs> yeah, we have, we have the picture like. up somewhere. But um, so, yeah, because the, basically the Easter bunny, they made the eyes like, ha you know, half staff. And I'm like, you couldn't just open the Easter Bunny's eyes? No. No. We're gonna... Okay. Cool. Uh, but this guy's been around forever. And they still use, they still mm -hmm. use this one. But... Uh, <laughs> uh, so then we're gonna get haircuts. And then we're gonna go right to uh, the ferry. We're gonna go over to Long Island. We're gonna spend Easter there. Uh, and then we'll be home Sunday. We'll be home Sunday night. So... But... But... Then we have Monday and Tuesday to basically get the last of everything done. Um, Nine's gonna pop over and get his um, international driver's license just as a precaution. Um, and I've, we're gonna... I've driven overseas a few times. Still not a fan of it. <laughs> uh, uh, Y'all have some crazy laws that I don't like. Um. We're going to get everything together. We're going to do all our packing. Uh, my parents are going to be up Tuesday. It's pretty wet when you do that. I. Uh, Vel. 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 My brain drive, drive overseas. overseas. Oh, okay. That, that I, makes I a lot more sense. I wasn't putting two and two together, and I am like, um... I, you're probably talking to Mish out loud and your, your voice to text picked up and, uh, <laughs> possibly we're not here to judge again. We're not here to judge. I, they saying. do George. They do weirdos, weirdos frown upon crashing. I don't get it, but, um, so yeah, so like I said, we're going to get everything in order. We have, we have everything ready to go. So, um, they drive so much better overseas compared to <laughs> Rodora and Messels. Yeah, they believe it or not, apparently, according to insurance rates, uh, we are um, one of the the most expensive to insure is um, Massachusetts drivers do drive like assholes. That is a, that is a fact based on insurance rates. Um, but uh, and then Wednesday, Wednesday, we leave. Oh, hold so on. here we go. I got it for you. Uh, the tweaker bunny. Yep. Tweaker Bunny 2022. This Kids adorable. This is the Tweaker Bunny. This is the Tweaker Bunny. <laughs> it's faded. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. That is one way of putting it. <laughs> hey, hey, man. You want a carrot? You got some jelly beans for you. Yo. A <laughs> kid's like. I just came out of the Cracker Jack. Like, <laughs> dad, I, mom, dad, I will never do drugs. Just get me off his lap. Snoop Bunny. He's, Snoop Bunny. I like the fact that I'm just realizing you can see the guy's nose in the mouth. Oh, I can't see that from where I am, but I'll trust you on that. I'll zoom in for you. You can see their you can see their nose coming through. 
Oh yeah, look at that. I didn't even realize that. I'm like, oh. <laughs> it's like, hello, little boy. Like that. That makes it so much worse all of a sudden. And now I cannot unsee that. But my kid is really damn cute. I'm not gonna lie. I make cute kids. I'm just saying. The bunny ate the man. Yeah, I know, right? It's like, uh, about that. <laughs> Yeah, how do you, yeah, so how do you think they get all that candy? We're gonna we're gonna see the tweaker bunny again this year. I, I, yeah. They, usually there's just a mesh. Like they have they have like just a mesh that you you know makes Myth it. Is, they didn't have mesh in the eighties, man. Seventies, <laughs> whenever this was made. Right? You can't smoke your joint with mesh in the way, I guess. I oh, don't know. Oh god. <laughs> so yep. Uh oh god, that's that's tweaker bunny for you. That's the Tweaker Bunny. So uh, my son is going to go see Tweaker Bunny tomorrow. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, that's Heinz, that. I need you to accept the fight. <laughs> uh, Nine is getting the trial together. Did we? I think we needed a couple more DPS, right? Just a couple? Uh, two. Possibly more if no one logs in. <laughs> I know everyone was like super thrilled. To like do this trial with me. Um. <laughs> I know we had a Matthias and we had a Heinz tanking tonight. Yeah, I need we Heinz have, to accept the invite. Uh, usually Demon Cat's a little bit a bit little bit later, uh, yeah. for getting out of work, so Demon Cat should be there. Maritime we know is here. Yeah, Maritime's uh, in. Shale, Irish Alice, we have Gade. Gade is in here, and Gade's significant other is in here. And Hawkeye. Hawkeye is ghosting me. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, ogre, definitely, definitely need another DPS. Yes, please. Mother in laws it's fine, Belle. It's fine. <laughs> I already said to pass along my message that um, Mrs. Yiki has hogged Yiki long enough and has had him for a lot of years. Uh, it's our turn. <laughs> Yes, Irish Alice Hawkeye will be joining tonight. Hopefully, maybe, kind of. Uh, but yes, Ogre is coming, and then uh, we have at least one more spot to fill. Um. Hawkeye said they were coming. <laughs> if Hawkeye bails on me, I have some strong words. <laughs> uh. Double check and make sure there's no other messages floating around. There's an Irish Alice. Good. Still waiting on a shale. About to invite a Valuna. We got two tanks, a healer, and three DPS. Oh, this will be fine. Odd maritime. I don't know why it's giving you that view. It won't let you see any other guild stores, huh? I would definitely put that bug in, um, in a ticket. I'll have to double check mine to see if I can see. <laughs> uh, not today, Lobo. Uh, we usually don't have enough people to do much on PlayStation. Uh, we have a very low population over there right now. <laughs> we barely have enough sometimes to do stuff on PC. <laughs> Yiki's one of us now. One of us. One of us. Oh, God, Ogre. Wow, get my hopes up, Ogre. Like my father. Uh, but for uh, anybody that hasn't, of course, seen any of the details... Uh, we have the Jester's Festival, which is on and I'll yell right here. now. Nice, yeah, Magnesium. Usually... Excellent. Uh, for a little 50s of my healing. Yes! Good for you! That's exciting! Uh, the Jester's Festival is on right now. So uh, make sure you guys uh, check out all the details. And we can go over it tonight. Again, normally we do it the day before the event. And I apologize, because Wednesday... Sucked. <laughs> so, please forgive us. I'm 
have it or Zost has it? I think they, wait, just, I think they accidentally hit the T. I think they're just meant to they say Zost. Oh. Like, wait, what? <laughs> yes. We are jesting about the best of Zost. Uh, Val can yep, come in got him. the deeps. Uh, <laughs> Nine's like, absolutely, you made the mistake of, uh... Green? Uh, uh, is... Oops. Uh, Dara, is that who's in there with you? Hmm? Dara? Uh, yes. Okay, perfect. I just want to make sure they get the right tag so the, the right stuff shows up for them. Cool. Cool beans. So yeah, they should be able to see the voice channel now. Boom. Blood curling scream from the front. Uh oh. Uh oh. I do have a heal. Yeah, absolutely, magnesium. Absolutely. Oh, you are very welcome for those drops. Sean, I specifically was like, you know what? I'm going to have drops on the channel today because I know Sean really would like some. Yeah. John is not going to get their drops unless we have them. So let's specifically tell Gina that Gina, these drops need to be on for us, for Sean. Like no one else needs to get them. This is fine. It's okay. We don't want to really screw too much up, but we do want to go above and beyond. For Sean. You need the. I'm just counting. Oh, I'm just counting. I see Hawkeye. Hawkeye's logging in on Steam. I saw it. Right. Because <laughs> I just yelled at him. It's shiny and free. It's for me. Yes. Uh, speaking of shiny and free, my friends, let's talk about um, 10th anniversary celebration. No broken bones, no blood. He's fine. <laughs> uh, so on Friday, Friday, April 5th, uh, there are going to be morning drops because you have to remember we are in Amsterdam and the times are totally different. Uh, there are going to be drops. You will be able to get, uh, after 45 minutes, the Skin Grad Noble Snack emote. Yeah, no worries, Demon Cat. Uh, and... If you watch an additional 30 minutes, you will get 150% XP scroll. So uh, there's gonna be three stream sessions that you'll see from your end. Uh, and those three, we will be at in person. So you guys are gonna be watching the same exact thing we are. It's just, you guys are gonna get to see it um, Over. on Twitch from the comfort of your home. Yeah, absolutely. Not Sean. after a so 16 hour flight. <laughs> it's not a 16 hour flight. you will not have jet lag need an invite Seven. i got you um so there's going to be the 10th anniversary keynote which uh matt fiora who is the studio head oh, uh he's going to basically kick off the celebration um the uh development is, is where we're talking about you know the the game the development the community and setting the stage for the excitement so Ideally, what I imagine we're going to be doing here is setting the stage for everything that's going to go on this year. I'm hoping this is where we find out about all the local events. <gasps> Hi, oh, hey, Hawkeye. Hawkeye. Hey, Azul. How you doing? Thank you for the follow. Hawkeye. We appreciate you. While I do equally appreciate you, I would appreciate you a lot more well, if you sure. were logged in. Four hour, ooh, four hour training. Yikes. Um... So we're going to have that, that 10th anniversary keynote speaker. So they're going to kick it off. And I'm hoping they give us the details for all of the events. Yeah. That's what I'm um, fingers crossed for, including that U.S. event. Uh, then the, the, the next session is going to be traveling down the gold road. Uh, so our amazing Gina Bruno, we all love Gina, uh, is going to be joined by the art director, CJ Greb, who we got to meet at the, the last ESO celebration event, who's super, super cool. Uh, the scribing lead, Kira Ross Schlitt, uh, who I don't know if we've met in person yet, but super excited to meet her. Uh, and then, of course, lead count encounter designer, Finn, Mike Finnegan. Who? Uh, the hashtag FU Finn. Is he new? He's... He, they must have just brought him <laughs> on, right? 
uh, who Finn is responsible again for encounters. So your trials, your dungeons, your monster, that's that's Finn. Uh, Finn, Finn leads a lot of that. So Oh, if I were him, uh, I wouldn't show my then, face in public. And then zone lead Based Ed Stark. So uh, the West Wheeled zone, Ed, Stark? uh, Ed Stark's kind of leading uh, the team that has Tony, designed and Stark's created father. this zone. I read uh, a book. So they're going to talk about the reasons they're excited for the Gold Road chapter. Uh, they're going to talk about Westfield, the new scribing system, which I am super excited to hear more about, uh, and Athelia from the perspective of the development team. So again, they're going to really talk about that content coming, which is really cool. I am listening. And I will check it out. Uh, and then really there's curious. a third session at Art Star, Lord of Winterfell. See? Mm -hmm. Mm, Ed Stark, yes, it's uh, that too. The third session is going to be Origins of the Elder Scrolls Online. So Matt Fior, Pete Hines, if you don't don't know Pete Hines, um, Made catch up. he Did. has since retired. Just catch up. Um, and then special other special guests, so we don't know who. Uh, they're going to dive into ESO's origins. So they're really going to talk about the history of ESO, probably where it started uh, at Actually, I shouldn't guess. It's right here. Uh, they're going to talk about how the game first came to be, discussing the initial pitch, the early days of development, uh, as well as including some never-before-seen documents. Uh, I, I, right, George? I was so happy. Like I, I've been dying. I've been, I've been wanting to meet him for for so long, and then he was retiring, and I was like, oh well, that's you know, that's a bummer. He, you know, probably isn't going to be involved in things, but I'm super excited that he is. I, he is a huge fan. He is a huge fan of Elder Scrolls online so um he is a super nice guy like i i have yet to meet someone from the zos bethesda you know team that hasn't been awesome which i love i love that makes me happy because i poured my heart and soul and my life into this game for 10 years and tend to find out everybody on the other side's an asshole like it just takes a little bit of that out of you. <laughs> so I'm really excited. I'm really excited uh, to finally get, a, you know, the opportunity to potentially meet him in person. Um, but again, I'm excited for this one because, again, as someone who has has been part of this game since day one, it, we have, like, such a connection to it to now be able to hear the developer side of the origin of ESO and, and how they got here, I'm super pumped. So those three sessions are going to be streamed uh, live on the Bethesda channel. <gasps> Lil and Chill, welcome in, Raiders. Hello, hello. Uh, I think, I don't know if Nine left me yet. Nope, not yet. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I know I've been yapping our way. Uh, but welcome in Raiders. How was your stream? What'd you guys do in ESO? You doing event stuff today? Right now I'm running Rock and Buzz. Uh, Spell Hark here, Winter's Rest, but I'm not sure what other upgrades I can get, not including Trials. Uh, so, hmm. Winter's Respite is a good training wheel set. Uh, because it provides some really, really strong heals. But as you really understand your role more and more as a healer and understand that a big portion of what you do as a healer is more than just heals. Um, I'm trying to think of another set that isn't trial. Uh, I mean, you could probably still run Jorval's Guidance. Yep, that's a dungeon set. Yep. Uh, that it, it kind of got replaced a little bit, um, and got paired with RO when RO came out. You've been avoiding that one. Oh, <laughs> Jorval's guidance is is another. Uh, again, usually now you pair um, uh, Jorvald with uh, Roaring Opportunist, but that comes out of a trial. Um, and then I run uh, SPC and Stone Talker, but Stone Talker comes out of a trial. Uh, you could run uh, H uh, SPC Hollow, which are both dungeons. Oh, that that's what I was thinking. Not Jorvald. Yes, Hollow Fang. Hollow Fang Thirst, yep. Uh, yeah, powerful, assault, yeah, powerful Assault's an option. Mm -hmm. um, but that is PvP acquired, or you have to pay some, yeah. some uh, good gold for luckily, that. <laughs> luckily, you don't need the Ice Staff as much. Uh, you can run the yep. Lightning. I always July forget. I, I, run, I run PA on my tank mostly, so I always forget about that one. But yes, Powerful Assault is a really good one, SPC, but that, yeah, that one uh, is key. Oops, sorry. Keep going. Yep, good. I was gonna say SPC, uh, Sierra, Papa, Charlie. Uh, Spell power cure comes out of white gold yep, tower. You're already running that. Yep. Yep. 
All right, uh, I'm going to yeah, leave it Hollow to the missus. I'll uh, be back. I love you all. I know. I always, for whatever reason, uh, Jorv and Hollow Fang, I always get them backwards like an idiot. I've been running these sets for like years now, and I still get them backwards like an idiot. Yeah, Hollow Fang, Hollow Fang is going to be a, a good one to get. That one's uh, that was definitely a good one. Yeah, SPC Hollow is what I ran for a really, really long time, and then I replaced Hollow Fang with uh, the Trial set. Speed run of the Rothgar main quest is fair enough. Yes, yeah, so you guys have just a couple more days to get your Rothgar main quest done, so you can get all those extra goodies this month. Make sure you guys do that if you're interested. But yeah. I was considering doing it on EU and speedrunning it because I did the story on NA and enjoyed it and went through it and loved it and appreciate it. Half of it in two hours, that's not bad. There's a lot of back and forth, back and forth, back and forth in the Rothgar one I found, which I felt like wasted so much time. <laughs> Maybe that was just me, I don't know. But yeah, it was a good, it was a good quest line. It was a good quest line. Uh, I still will rank Rothgar at the bottom of my list of content I enjoyed, though. <laughs> Hello, Leet. How you doing? Um, but yes, so make sure you guys tune in um, Friday morning, April 5th, for the 10th anniversary celebrations. You'll get that drop. Hello, Frost Shield. We're doing good. How are you? Uh, 45 minutes, you'll get your emote, and then an additional 30 minutes, you'll get the 150% XP scroll. So, lots of goodies to get there. Um, we are also going to stream on Saturday. Uh, we'll be doing a stream on Saturday. I think we're doing it at like 11 o'clock-ish. We have like a, a, a downtime to be able to stream for a little bit. Honestly, Kiltmaster, there's going to be so much going on. Make sure you take your breaks. Make sure you take your breaks because this is this is one of the biggest burnout periods I find in ESO from, from my years of playing is because Jester's is going to run right into Jubilee because we already have the details for Jubilee, guys. Our video is a little behind. We're going to get it out this weekend. But are you trying to kill my shit? Listen, listen. You are going to be there on our time, so... We'll, we'll, we'll remind you just to open it up. <laughs> um, but <laughs> the annoying talking. Oh, Jesus. Hawkeye rude. Yeah, Jester's, Jester's is fun. I enjoy Jester's. It's definitely not my favorite. Um, but Jester's is running right into Jubilee. Uh, so Jester's is only going to be a week. Uh, it's started Thursday it started yesterday it is going to run till the 4th at 10 a.m and then at 10 a.m on the 4th we're rolling right into Jubilee uh potentially potentially George uh we're bringing our laptop and a camera and our mics we're gonna we're gonna stream regardless <laughs> we'll have our phones it's gonna be a good time hi Rand. thank you for 12 oh wait 12 months. Ah, 12 months. Thank you, Bran. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so Jester, yeah, Jester's and Jubilee is going to run right into each other. There's going to be no break in between. So we're going to have, um, hey, Dark Archimedes. We're going to have, hold on, let me pull up, make sure I have all of my, my facts in a row. Yeah, thank you for oh guys it's a golden kappa train nine has no idea <laughs> I, there he is <laughs> guys if you aren't familiar with the golden kappa this is a train that is done at random uh anybody who participates in it gets a special golden kappa emote to use for 24 hours so anybody, anybody that, that participates, I don't know if there's like a certain level. I think it's just any participation um, will absolutely um, allow you that little, little something, something. 
So if you guys want that golden kappa, be sure to get in on it. And then you can use it in other chats, but you only get it for 24 hours. So, um, do, 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 do. let me pull up. Uh, so the, the guide for Jubilee on the website is technically, <laughs> Lord, is technically up to date. I just don't have the video. I don't have the, the, um, the pocket guide up. I don't have any of that, but the actual content itself is actually correct on the website. So you guys can, uh, oh Lord, <laughs> give me a heart attack. Um, hold on, why is this not? Yeah, open something up real quick. Uh, so Anniversary Jubilee is going, we're gonna run right from Jester's into Anniversary Jubilee. So again, Thursday, April 4th, Jester's ends at 10 a.m. Anniversary Jubilee hits at 10 a.m. Jubilee is extended this year, so it is going to run until April 23rd. April 23rd. You will have the opportunity with Jubilee to get 60 tickets. That is a lot of tickets. 60 tickets. So again, we are going to have pretty much an entire month straight of events. So going back to Kiltmaster's point about, <laughs> oh, Kiltmaster, thank you for the gift sub to Anita Light. Um, burnout is very real, especially with Jubilee. 65 tickets for Doom Char, so 60 tickets is cool if didn't have, yeah. Ah, Jesus, my printer, jerk. Um, I definitely didn't, ah, accidentally sabotage my printer the other day when I spilled an entire cup of water on it. But it seems to be working just fine. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, Doom Char Plateau is definitely an option. You needed to push it over a hundred. <laughs> a poor printer. Uh, I mean, is it really a poor printer though? It torments me all the time, so no. <laughs> um, but so yeah, so the biggest, the biggest problem that you have here <laughs> uh, lies Eli I don't know what you're talking about the biggest opportunity you guys have here is is for full-on burnout because with Jubilee Festival you basically do any dailies in game and get coffers so people usually try and max that out because with the dailies you can get up to 50 you could do up to 50 dailies people try to do that on every character and then before you know it, they're like, oh, yeah, I got like 3,000, you know, Jubilee boxes. And it's like, okay, well, now you're going to hate ESO for the next six months. This is by far one of the biggest years for this game. Do not burn yourself out this year. Take it easy. On the days where you're like, man, I'm really not. You don't want to miss out on your tickets? That's fine. Go do one crafting writ. Log off and walk away. Get your, your daily login reward, get your tickets, and get off for the day. So that because you can, that you must. Exactly, Lil and Chill. Exactly. So that, again, that's the worst. The worst part is these, th these events here, I see the most burnout out of, out of all. So making a second ball repealer build wasn't the thing. <laughs> Um, God, you have to do it really, really, so it's hard. It's, uh, it's tough. People don't talk about that a lot, especially in the game. Oh, oh, 100% Kilt Master. It's, it's becoming more prevalent. There's a lot more sessions at, you know, um, you know, cons and stuff on mental health. There's a really, um, uh, awesome streamer, uh, Anxiety. Uh, she is a streamer that focuses primarily on mental health and has mental health talks and, you know, really, really, really brings that to light in this space. And, you know, absolutely what, you know, Lead has to say, it's, it's great if you don't depend on the money, 
but especially those that depend on this for their full-time job, it's taking off is just as scary as not taking off. You know, your your mental health wanes either way. Because you're like, well, I'm too stressed to take off because then I'm losing, you know, money and, you know, subs and whatever, especially with Twitch. Twitch is, you get paid for live streaming. YouTube, if you're a partner and, you know, you've hit that status, you can make money off of your, your, your VODs, right? There's offline content that you can continue to have a little bit of an income stream. But if you're strictly a live streamer, if you're not live, you're not making money. So it, it makes it very difficult for people to take a day off, right? You know, um, I know Ninja, Ninja614 went through a period where he was sick and he had to take some time off. Ninja is primarily a live streamer. So all that time Ninja had to take off, he, he lost a lot of that, that revenue that he depends on. And so now having to take off, now you're stressed because now you're like, shit, I can't make ends meet because I, I I couldn't be live. So it's such a tough thing. It's such a tough thing. And that's why a lot of people, you know, are, are trying to diversify a little bit more and to be able to have different revenue streams. And some of the streamers we watch at this point in their, in their careers, are you for it? Nine. <gasps> it's a baby. Are you for Ah! <laughs> it's a baby. Are you for it? Get my jar of babies. My camera is like turned so you can barely see. You have to let me know what color you want, and you get your golden cappy. Oh yeah. <laughs> awesome. But let me know what color you want. I have lime green. I think I have one dark green left. I have light blue, dark blue, red orange, yellow, gray, brown, pink, peach. Uh, I think those are the colors I got. What does it mean? Are you talking about the, the Kappa or the Jar of Babies? <laughs> Lime green, you got it. I literally just got this. Anyone? Choo choo. Both. Uh, so the jar of babies I have here. Um, I have this this lovely jar of all these plastic babies. So when people hit nine months, uh, we get they get a little baby with their name on it. Uh, if I owe anybody any babies, please let me know. Uh, and the golden kappa. So the the kappa is just a a long standing emote of basically. Uh, Easy to tell sarcasm, if you will. <laughs> that's that's how a lot of people tend to use it. Is is for uh, sarcasm. And uh, this one just happens to be R E four. It just one just happens to be a golden one. Specials are you just golden sarcasm. <laughs> golden sarcasm. Ooh, uh, let me actually also turn that part of my bot off. Uh, stream, stream stuff has not been super number one on my radar lately. Um, so let me turn that off. Technically, it's still live if you guys still want to donate, but... Um, we are looking ahead. We're looking ahead. Happy Good Friday, are you for it? All right. Um, uh oh, it's because I'm on the wrong one. Rats. Rats. Uh, magnesium, if you are talking to me, uh, I mean a healer. Um, not if you're talking to Nine, uh, he will not verbally answer you back, but he means DPS. Um, my secondary, I'll tank if I have to. It's what I started out in this game doing. Uh, nine secondary is his healer. Your guilt is good at special sarcasm. <laughs> no. Alright, let's turn this off. Cool. Um, so yeah, but uh, just, just circling back again. Anniversary Jubilee. 
it is going to be extra long this year. People try their damnedest to do every possible daily. Plus this year, they're adding a whole bunch of new stuff um, and new activities that you can do to get new loot and stuff. So people are really gonna push themselves on this event to get everything because it's such a big year. Don't stress yourself out because we haven't heard yet, which like I said, Amsterdam's coming, the, the keynote address, I know. Yeah, it is, it is Killmaster. I 100% feel that. Um, yes, I am, I am Magnesium. You joined a ball group? Good for you, Death. It's always fun to try something new. Yes, it is a 15 month celebration. They keep saying that. So my guess is we're gonna be having something in Maryland in July. That's my guess. Because they said summer. So if we're going to end the year with the, the last celebration, that would bring us to July. Unless they're considering this March. I don't know. We'll see. Because June is when console launched. So. April to June. It would have been, that's 14 months. So I'm trying to, trying to read between the lines and make my guesses, although I know absolutely nothing. Uh, Gina can't tell the stream team anything because uh, the stream team, a lot of people have really big mouths and ruin surprises and things we're not supposed to say. So we don't get told anything. <laughs> we get told very, very little. Uh, and when we do uh, get told anything, there's usually an NDA involved. So. <laughs> Hi, Candied Rogue. How you doing? I have a name. <laughs> uh, George probably knows the select few people I am talking about, though, uh, which makes it hilarious. But uh, yeah, there, there are a select few people who are not very good at keeping secrets. <laughs> but um, I... Uh, I did notice the 15 months and I'm like, hmm, it was only 14 between uh, PC and console. So is that 15 on the back end or is that 15 on the front end? Hey, Cooper Harley, how you doing? Stop calling out Bell like that. <laughs> Honestly, it's nice that, you know, when we are under like NDA, at least there's a few other people to talk to and be excited with and like, you know, like we can talk to George and be like, oh my God, look at this. Or we can talk to Belle and you can be like, oh my God, look at this. You know, it's 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 nice to have that because I mean, even even still, like at least Nine and I get to do that with one another, but you know, Belle and Yiki can do that with one another, but you know, you take somebody like, uh, you know, like, you know, Duma, for example, where, you know, he's he's the streamer, he's the SO person, Duma wife really doesn't do that. like like ah, where do you go when it's just you you know uh if you count the months of april and count the number of months through june it's 15 i guess i guess you can I guess you can say that fair <laughs> Sarah doesn't care about yes and X and I'm under NDA anyway, right? And that's why you said, so it's just like. <laughs> so that's why, again, you have you know, your fellow stream team members or again, when we do stuff, sometimes there is, you know, multiple people that are part of whatever it is they have under NDA. So you can like at least have the conversations with them, which is cool. Uh, sometimes I just go to Gina and I'm like, oh my God, Gina, this is so cool. I can tell Gina. Gina, Gina's the one that made me sign the NDA. She knows what's up. <laughs> so, um, so yeah. But uh, it would be. Uh, I'm I'm really looking forward to see what they do announce for Amsterdam. Because again, I'm really feeling like it's gonna be some general ballpark dates or times and stuff for a lot of the local celebrations. So I'm dying to know when the US one is for this year. I know a lot of people, I keep saying that and they're just like, wait, what? Yes, there is supposed to be a smaller, it's not the big global scale event like we're having in Amsterdam and you know the US next year. There is going to be a US meetup this year. 
it is just going to be a, a regular, smaller, local meetup. So, yes, in person. <laughs> so I am, uh, I'm super, yeah, Lilla Chell. I'm, I'm glad they brought it back. They had done it. Uh, cause I, George, did you go to the Graymore one? Because I know they did the Graymore one, which was 2020, which that's when like everything shut down right about then. Uh, that's where they just yanked it all. So yeah, so George went to that one, but um they didn't do anything until last year in the, at least in the u.s they didn't really bring anything back they used to do the bethesda game days at pax and then they did the graymore they announced like a month before oh my god <laughs> that didn't give anybody any time because that was also in vegas that one was also in vegas if i remember correctly uh, do you have a quick idea of what sets I can run on my healer for when I DPS in open world? So I'm not going to lie, Magnesium. I wear the same sets I heal in. I am a Templar healer. My jabs will kill anything overland without an issue. So I honestly, I just wear the same stuff so I don't have to bother swapping things out. I'm lazy. It is, it is not going to be such a detriment if you have some DPS skills that can put out some DPS. Yeah, Dath, yep. You can do the fun proc sets. There's a... Uh, oh, what's the one with the, the fabricant? The uh, the little little dinosaur fabricant that runs people over. <laughs> yep, Order's Wrath is a popular one. Um, but yeah, it's it Overland. Unless you're looking to like solo a world boss. Well, then yeah, you're probably going to want to put some sets on. My healer could take forever to do that, but Mad Tinker. That's what I'm thinking of. Mad Tinker is a fun one uh, because you, your, your set procs this little, uh, little fabricant, uh, like dinosaur thing, little raptor, and it turns to a little spinning wheel of doom and like hits people. It's fantastic. I love that set. I know Mick Ferb is a huge fan of that set. <laughs> Aegis Caller is cool. It summons a little spinning Aegis. Yeah. But honestly, it's, yeah, not, not overly necessary. Don't, don't stress too much over it. They are, they are cool. As I said, most of them aren't like great for like high level end game content, but like overworld and just questing and doing, you know, like the, the, you know, delves and stuff. Like they're awesome. They're so much fun for those. I love them. But yeah, no, Matt, yeah, Mad Tinker was the one I was thinking of. That's a fun one. That's, that's, that's one of my top, uh. I'm a big fan of of um, Cold Harbor's favorite because it summons a Bantam Guar. It's the only reason I like it. It's really not worth anything else <laughs> other than the fact that we get a Bantam Guar. But uh, yeah. So, but yeah, they uh, they did the the events. They they previously did the events, and it kind of you know got stopped by COVID, and a lot of the other areas kind of got a little bit more back to normal and and we're doing some fun things and i was like what about us i want an event and sure enough last year they had it which was our first ever event that we we went to um and then like i said this happens to be 10 years this year so a big deal it's a big deal but i'm not gonna lie i am selfishly hoping <laughs> that the u.s meetup is on the east coast being a little a little selfish in that because everything is on the west coast and the west coast is twice as expensive i want to pay that money it's expensive out there i grew up in new york and i thought new york was expensive and then i visited vegas last year twice <laughs> and i visited san diego the year before that and i wanted to fall over <laughs> i uh I know, Collectra. Everybody's too nice up there. That's why. <laughs> but no, I, uh, I, I, East Coast. East Coast would be great. I didn't, yeah, I didn't see any Canada local event. I wonder if there's a barrier that makes it so difficult to have Canadian events. I wonder if nothing's ever in France. 
Uh, hold, let me, what is the, let me take a peek. Uh, let me scroll back a hot minute here. Cause there, oh, oh. Yeah, a new mouse, I'm learning how to use it like a dingus. Uh, let me find it here, do 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 do. I know you're in here somewhere. I know, no, I know you're in here. There we go. Uh, this year, actually, between, there is going to be an event in France, Lil and Chill. That's why I wanted to look. So um, for the 10-year anniversary, they are going to have a France local event. I hope it's within reach for you. I know France is a whole country, so sometimes it's still out of reach for some people, but... Uh, so there is obviously the, the Amsterdam event that's happening in a couple of days. There is the summer 2025 global event. So that's going to be the second massive event that is going to be in the Baltimore, Maryland area in the U.S. Again, summer 2025. But between those two events, they are going to have local community events in Australia, China, Netherlands, Sweden, Italy, Germany, France, Spain, Poland, UK, US, and Japan. I stream in English, so I totally go. Oh, you're gonna be in Amsterdam! Yay! That's so exciting. Yeah, no, they uh, they are gonna have something in France. Um, so spreading the love this year and really making sure that they can touch a lot of corners of the universe. Um, but again, I'm hoping, hoping we get details on these events for the, the Amsterdam opening uh, ceremony. So we'll, uh, we'll see. But yeah, I am super selfishly hoping that the US uh, is on these goals. <laughs> Can't wait to hear more about scribing and styling. I know, I know. It's always like that build up and you're just like, just tell me already. Tell me all the things. Um, but I just on the the little bit they showed us, like in the you know the uh, the the big global reveal, it looks like there's gonna be some really fun stuff. Um, and based on what they kind of released in in the um, the reveal, twenty two different style options that are all gonna be obtainable in game. No crown store purchase for those. Like, I, that, that by far made everything great about that. Made everything great about that system. Yes, absolutely, Cooper. Like, that is such a big point. I think that the community has been harping on for a while of, please stop cash shopping things. Please let us earn things in game. And again, I know sometimes people don't feel like it. They do listen. They also make content two years in advance. So sometimes they've, you know, already finished what they've created and it's just like, okay, well, I got to, you know, I got to roll with this. This is, it's already done. It, 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 it's sometimes a longer cycle to bring in player feedback and, and most people don't realize that. And um, I know everybody's like, oh, they don't listen. I've been complaining about this for two years. And then they're like, oh, oh, I said this two years ago. Yeah, because they were finally able to, you know, get that comment and, and implement something about it. So um, the see and love are the ones public. Absolutely. Uh, those decisions are very, very much made at a higher level. So absolutely, Cooper, 100 percent. As I said, everybody takes it out to Gina. I, I always joke. I always joke with Gina. Every time something goes wrong, I'm like, Gina, it's clearly your fault. You are single-handedly developing this entire game. It is clearly your fault because obviously people attack her because she's she's the face of the game, right? She's our community manager. So, you know, or it's everything is Rich's fault. Everything. Everything is Finn's fault. Okay, those are the only three game names you know. It's, it's, it's none of their faults. <laughs> like, it's very rarely any of these people's specific fault. They didn't say, oh, yeah, I'm going to screw over the entire community base and do this. No, like, <laughs> yes, well, it's always F you, Finn, but um, 
like I said, they're they're some of the most wonderful people you'll ever meet in your lifetime. And like just to constantly watch them get beat down sometimes, it's like, guys, like what is going on? I blame Jess. <laughs> Yeah, but that's like I said, I I have a very unique perspective. Um, I have worked in IT. I didn't work in games, but I worked in um, custom software development, programming, and I was a project manager in that world for for a while. And I've I've always been in the business world, the retail space, the consumer product space. I you know then went over to Nerf and, and sold you know toys. I understand the business side of stuff, right? You have to make money to continue to put out content and stuff and things and and to help a game thrive. But I also understand from a consumer's perspective that too much business hurts. And then your business suffers. And you have to find that balance of where you can make the money you need to put out a kick-ass game but also respect the players and the player base. And I said, that's a lot of the opinions we kind of share on stream in that space come from my, my very strong understanding of both of those worlds. And again, not everybody has spent, you know, 10 years in, in a, a business and production and, and that kind of space to understand why it's important for businesses to thrive and to make money. But again, I'm also the consumer of that same product and I don't want to pay $50 for a new skin, right? You know, must be tough for Gina, age only. How's that one leather jacket? <gasps> Stop it, Sean. I like that jacket, sir. As I take mine off because it's 300 degrees in here. Exactly, forever and ever. And again, that's where I'm talking about that balance, right? Is there's, there's, there's a point where again, not enough monetization isn't gonna keep the player base happy because they can't make money and they can't put out the content, but too much monetization is gonna piss off the player base and they're gonna walk away and then the business is gonna fail. There is that there there is that sweet spot. And sometimes again, you know, businesses and companies will test the limits, if you will. And that's why we always say here. Give feedback. Feedback is so important, but don't act like a jackass giving feedback. Do not act like an absolute animal, unrational and ridiculous. Do not be rude and disrespectful and nasty and mean just for the sake of it because you're behind your keyboard and feel all powerful. Because nobody's gonna take you seriously either. And they're gonna write you off like other, any other troll. And nobody's gonna care what you have to say. There's a balance in that too giving good feedback, but not being a jerk. It's possible, it really is. So that's why we constantly, you know, encourage you guys to give feedback. That's why we have the Zoss feedback channel. We put that in a sheet and when we get the opportunity to meet with Gina and talk with her and, and shoot ideas, we have that sheet and that's what we bring to the table. Because again, we're, it's, it's not just about us. It's not just about Nine and I, right? <laughs> we're, if you will, you know, pseudo elected representatives of you guys, the bigger voice of ESO, the bigger community. Our, our job is to bring your concerns up too. And that's, so that's why we do what we do with the channel in our discord and, and an opportunity to provide feedback. And like I said, suggesting solutions is cool, but not required. But also saying like, I wanna do away with all monetization. Okay, well, that's not realistic. And you need to understand that too. So it's, again, it's a balance. It's a balance and it's learning and understanding and, and growing. And it's okay to have somebody say, oh, well, that's not, that is not completely realistic and here's why. And it's okay to say, oh, wow, I didn't realize that or I didn't know that. And then to take that into consideration when providing future feedback. So it, it's, a, it's a balance. It's a dance, it's a balance. I think they're moving in a better direction they're not perfect, but if we continue to provide constructive feedback in a in the proper way, and we don't just rant on Twitter for you know six months and at Gina every day and say this game still sucks, nobody's gonna listen to you, and that doesn't help. 
can buy what I want. I don't mind sporting game. I enjoy but I hate RNG. Yeah, and like I said, loot crates are definitely – Microsoft as a corporation isn't a big fan of loot crates, so it's interesting that they're still kind of around. I know there was some speculation that those would go away when Microsoft had acquired them. Um, so we'll see. We'll see kind of what the future has for those. Um, but – the fact that again they brought that they're bringing that style parlor, um, you know, the skills style parlor into earnable items. I think they're probably going to continue to offer a lot of crown store stuff similar to what we see, but I think they're going to balance that by having a lot more earnable items. In 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 my opinion, yep, seals of endeavor. Yep, that was basically yeah. That's what we we kind of speculated was the the answer to the the loot crate gambling. For those who didn't want to do that, Seals of Endeavor, I think they definitely need to balance that out a little bit more, uh, which they've gotten better with. I got 15,000 crowns on the new crate that just dropped. Yeah, the new crates are pretty cool. The uh, I think it's what the uh, the Order of the Lamp. I think that's those are the crates that just dropped. Um, I told my landlord that I wasn't a fan of their monetization. Unrelated. How comfortable is your couch? <laughs> Uh, I will uh, I will say that we have had uh, plenty of guests have extended stays on that couch. And no, I'm not talking about Nine Tails. Uh, and they have been pretty good. <laughs> but we do have an entire guest room. So you don't have to sleep on the couch. We have a whole guest room for you. <laughs> the presence of gems kind of counters. It does and it doesn't because your primary source of earning those gems is from crown crates <laughs> you can get them of course from drops when you turn stuff in from drops but where you earn most of them is from usually from buying crates and then exchanging them in so it's sort of an answer but not as much you should be able to afford one rating apex per season that's just me yeah that's what i said i think i think they could tweak the, the seals of endeavor a little more and i've seen it again they're bringing them a lot more until daily login rewards and offering those a lot more. We saw them here in March, which was awesome. So, super ramping, I didn't get, but I got one 400 gem item out of it. Yeah, and that's why you said there's, you, sometimes you get good stuff, sometimes uh, not so much. <laughs> new customized mining actions, great. It was 100 gems, that's what I want to be the standard price for new actions moving forward. There's one previously for 500, oh, okay. So I wonder, I wonder if they've adjusted that since. No, yeah, April has seals too. So yeah, like I said, you you guys are starting to see a little more seals come in in different ways. And, you know, again, one of them being the login reward. So again, hopefully that is something that has some long legs on it and we'll continue to see for a while. But again, you know, it's, it's tough. It's tough. A, you're never going to make everyone happy, right? Because there are people out there who strongly believe everything should always be free at all times. I bought the game. I shouldn't have to pay for a subscription. I shouldn't have to pay for items in a cash shop. I shouldn't have to pay for anything regardless. Okay, well, it's not realistic. <laughs> that's not that's not even remotely realistic. I, you know, people have said like, oh, I don't want to pay for you know expansions and you know and, and you know the DLCs. And I, yeah, it's not realistic for a live game service. Absolutely, Cooper. Like, <laughs> you know, uh, okay. Um, so. But again, there are some people who do live in that world. And it's just like, mm. and then there are some people who are a little more reasonable. And they're like, okay, well, prices are a little high and I'd like some more stuff in game. But I understand that, again, you guys as a company have to make money to be able to put out brand new content that you do every single year. We get a new chapter every year. We get at least one dungeon DLC a year based on the, the, the recent cadence. Some, for a while, we were getting two dungeon DLCs. We were getting four new dungeons a year for a period of time. Hi, Case. How you doing? We miss you. But yeah, as I said, as as a live service game, 100% Cooper, yeah, that it's not realistic. So. And again, and that's my my thing forever and ever. I, I'm a big believer in that is, again, where is that sweet spot? Because you have more people spending money, but they're spending less overall. So where does that get you? Where does that start to taper off? But where, you know, you have less people spending money, but they're spending more. Where, where is that, that, that break even, right? Where does that intersect where you find that perfect spot? 
And I don't think they've balanced it well enough yet to find that perfect spot, to find that that intersection. I think, you know, watching them, you know, kind of play with some some pricing a little bit. Because again, if you make stuff super cheap, yeah, there's gonna be a ton of people buying it, but they're not gonna make the amount of money they were making when they, you know, had it a little more expensive and a few less people buying, right? Because again, you also still have your people who can't spend any money in the game, so they're going to continue to use gold in game. You know, will those people now do more trades? You know, so are those people going to pick up the slack and and you know buy more crowns? So again, it's it's a really cool, you know, a, again, model of of where that intersection is. I don't think they've found it yet, in my opinion. I think they still have some work to do there. I'm so excited to learn more about Athelia. Yes. Uh, I I know there's been a lot of drama around Athelia. Um, there are the same people who complained about the Vardenfell map, or you, you, for the most part, the ones complaining about Athelia. Um, and people like, oh, she's never going to be canon. Us, as boring old, you know, regular normie gamers here, we don't get to determine what's canon. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. We don't get to determine that. Um, that is something that is absolutely determined uh, by the people who write all the lore. <laughs> okay, so we were talking about monetization and kind of that, that sweet spot of, you know, what's a little too much monetization and too expensive and, you know, what's... You know, not enough to keep a live game service running. Uh, but now we're talking about Athelia, who is the brand new Daedric Prince they have introduced. A never before seen. Oh, I feel that case. I understand that. Just maybe that I'll just feel like Sean. Sean. Thank you. For 16 months. It has, my friend. It has been 16 months. I know. Uh, Nine just resubbed to Duma the other day, and it's, I think he's at like 46 months, and we're like, oh my god. Nine wants to talk to me in private. Oh boy. Ooh. Uh, no, I think he's trying to dial me back. <laughs> uh, there he is. Hi, Nine. Welcome. Oh, hey, Mrs. What's up? Um, but as I said, little, like people get like super, super mad. And it's just, again, I, I'm a big believer in I don't get to determine what's canon. Go ahead, oh. Matthias. I'm glad. Like, I don't get to determine what, as, as the fans, we could want something to be the case, but we don't determine what's canon and what's not. No. <laughs> I know, Cooper. They do. They just like to be mad to be mad. So as I said, like the whole, you know, argument over like the Vardenfell map was like drama I've never before seen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, Hawkeye, I do. Hawkeye, honestly, Hawkeye, it's nothing serious. Um, we're trying. To, I'm trying to figure out um, the the how to get to Logan on Wednesday. Oh yeah, George is here too. And George is here too. So well, I told George I have to talk to him. Oh. But George never got back to me. George told me to get wrecked. He said I don't care about your feelings. I'm like that makes sense. I don't care about my feelings <laughs> either. I don't um, want your refrigerator, and I don't want your freaking shit. Your right? ride, and I don't want to talk to you. I hate so, you. I know, right? God, why do you act like we're friends? Like, I don't there know. There was case. There was drama because in other ESO maps, in two thousand years in the future. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me set it up. There, it, yeah, what Skyrim's map, Vardenfell, and the Telvanni Peninsula were kind of located in a sort of kind of different area of the map. It was it was off. It wasn't perfect compared to like the Skyrim map, which again, the argument I have is in in this you know in two thousand years is our modern current day map of the world the same as it was two thousand years ago? Probably not. <laughs> so people getting really really upset that. Over the course of 2,000 years, in a world where word of mouth and scribing and <laughs> and and writing stuff down and, and get passing stuff from generation to generation in a very unreliable way, the fact that the maps over a 2,000 year span were a little different. I know, right, Irish Alice? Like, 
that was that was there was a whole leg of drama on that. And like I said, the new drama is Athelia, and how again ESO is two thousand years before you know Skyrim, but Athelia doesn't in- exist in Skyrim, and it doesn't exist in you know this one and that one and this one, and Athelia doesn't exist anywhere. Like you can't just throw in a Daedric prince. Well, maybe they can. Maybe in the story, there's something that happens that wipes us from knowing about Athelia again. You know, and there's a reason why we don't know about her in, you know, Skyrim and, and, and so on. Maybe Elder Scrolls VI, that we're maybe getting someday, is going to take place in between ESO and Skyrim and is going to explain why Athelia isn't seen in Skyrim. There are so many opportunities for them to write that. <laughs> I know, right, Cooper? There are so many ways for them to address that. But the fact that they're like, arr, arr, you can't just do that. You can't just make up a Daedric Prince. They did it for all the other ones. <laughs> they made a... Fun fact, Shea Gorath probably didn't exist before Elder Scrolls was created 30 years ago. Uh, they just celebrated their 30th anniversary. But like... <laughs> People love Jake. Like I know, so like people are just. I, I, I apologize, whoever made the the comment. I don't, I don't know who it was, but like people just want to be mad, just to be mad. <laughs> I think it was. Uh, I think it was Cooper. It was Cooper or. Uh, I think it was Cooper. Yeah, Cooper. Or Lil. Yeah, somebody, somebody mentioned that. Like people just want to be mad for the sake of being mad. No, she is not Jigalag. She was Jigalag. That's been confirmed. <laughs> The 1400s broom was called exactly, and that's why I said, yeah, cartographers are not perfect. Like, it's a 2,000 year difference in a world where, yeah, we might have magic, but they're still scribbling on parchment paper with ink. Guys, <laughs> we all need to chill out. It's okay to be passionate, but do not tell the people that write canon. What is and is not canon? <laughs> it doesn't work that way. Uh, yeah, ain't nobody got time for that. Puerto chat, Rico means rich poor. Don't this is this is my this is my drawing of Massachusetts chat. If you were to ask me Looks right like now, a dog tail. if you were what? Looks like a dog tail. Oh, like if you, you were to ask me to draw something. Massachusetts, this is what I'm drawing you. This is a ballpark. Or I'm going to show you my hand. Be like, hey, there's Massachusetts, and I use that as my map. This is what Massachusetts actually looks like, chat. I'm saying, are you seeing? Are you seeing a difference, chat, or do they look identical? Because if they are, cocktail? No, Massachusetts. <laughs> I would like a cocktail though. Cocker spaniel. Same picture. <laughs> so like, no, no, a little chilly. I know. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's like taking one of these maps where it's the dragons and all that. Absolutely. But like. So the, the moral of my story is not for you all. Your y'all, map is canon. <laughs> right? It's, yeah, exactly. Now my map is canon because I drew it before one of these maps thought about existing. Like, that's rude of them to change my map yeah. like that. And that's and that's the moral of the story is that if I were to ask you, the state that you live in, I grew up in Massachusetts for 30 years, chat. Uh, actually, I see you in tell section. I never went to drawing school. Going back would imply that I went. I never went to drawing school. I have no reason to. It looks like a sideways seagull. Telvani. Newton is Telvani. <laughs> so, and, and like I said. I don't know. Is... I saw a lot of mold in Worcester. A lot of mushrooms growing in Worcester. Talk about Worcester. <laughs> we don't talk about Worcester, no. Uh, Worcester's not even the worst part of it, though. Oh, where is the doggo? Uh, she literally just like kicked rocks and said, I hate you. I'm like, okay. All right. Well, let's see if I can find her. So I gotta go. she, just, she got up and left. I mean, she just, I tried calling her back. She's like, no, I don't care what you have to say today. Oh. Is that because uh, nobody has fed her from the Trito bot? That's probably why. Probably. Uh, chat, I'm not going to say that I was hoping for more troops down. I'm just going to say that we're going to die. Because I am. That was quick. That was quicker than it needed to be. All right, let's try this again, chat. Let's try this again, but troops. I don't even know what my... 
Battle plans done. Tokens. Mages. Vampires. Man vampires. I'll put some vampires. Let's try this again, chat. We're going to try this again. We're going to put some uh, stuff down. I got you, Irish. Hey, Chalice. Start the battle. Go ahead. Anytime now. Vampire down. I'm going to need all of y'all to put troops down on the battlefield. Barbar. Barbar. Here's not about tree. Thank you, Marbear. Oh, y'all are spoiling her for no reason. years later. One of us is back. Uh, the ad should be all over, yeah. Excellent. Yeah, and Tritos. Getting spoiled. Spoilt. Spoilt. Chat, can we talk real quick? Oh, hold on, you can't see it. Um. Chat, can we talk real quick about these jester items and how I need these in my life? Chat, the feast axe, it's a ham hock. The battle axe is a crab claw. You get them. You got your your reward or your um, ESO Plus subscription. Did I? Yeah. Some wheat for the bow, in a in a little milk tank for the arrows. The dagger is another crab claw. The great sword is a giant swordfish. Ah. Uh, the mace is another ha ham hock. The mall is just a giant leg. 
And the only reason they look like they're on fire is because I have the flame enchantment on my weapons right now, so it obviously tax it on, but just a an award winning flank, I might add. The shield is a giant cookie, basically. The staff is it looks like a jammy dodger. Right? It does. It does. The staff is basically the rest of the crab. Uh, the head specifically on a stick. And the sword is a halibut or barracuda, something like that. I don't know. Wheel, is it a wheel of cheese? No, I, I only see a low res tiny picture from where I Shield am. is cheese. I guess that makes sense too. It looks a little bit like a Jimmy Dodger as well. What's that thing in the middle? Maybe a seal. Where'd you get ice cream? No. <sighs> I bought you two containers of ice cream. If you want ice cream, go eat your damn ice cream. I'm not stopping you. That's it's fair case. That's fair. I allowed you to eat you. I'm gonna allow over. <laughs> Popcorn moment for chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Cheese is pretty awesome. Oh, okay, guys. Oh, I moved the uh, the treat bot. Now that I know it doesn't have to be like plugged into my PC, I moved the treat bot, so now it like use it out where y'all can see her eating it for those who are wondering so i was thinking of because Does it's it super brand? cheap Whoa. that time hi mama <laughs> you need weapons some people are not bra oh, no. are not blessed with awareness of themselves i can we call those idiots caves <laughs> so listen Bram in the basement with him in the basement with him are two containers of ice cream that are exclusively his I did not go to the store and get myself ice cream. I went to my first floor freezer and got my ice cream. He has two downstairs with him. He got up to get Mara a doggy ice cream. His ice cream is in that same freezer he opened. So no, it is not the same, sir. <laughs> It is not the same. I know. I had boring chocolate chip today, but nine has peppermint stick. I do. It's a seasonal. I can only get it once a year. You recognize the brand now? Hood. Hood used to be better. With their chocolate chip. Their chocolate chip used to be so much better because they were like shaved chocolate chips. Mm. Now they're just like chocolate chunks and it sucks. Definitely not as good. Okay, yeah, I don't feel bad for him. Exactly. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Can we go back to feeling bad for nine? <laughs> Hood overall is good. It's good. It's just, again, their chocolate chip used to be better. And that's fine, Sean. He is welcome to have some of mine, but he doesn't prefer chocolate chip. He's not a big fan of vanilla ice cream. So if he had his choice of ice cream, he's going to not choose this one. He will absolutely choose his peppermint. Also true. The only time he'll choose chocolate chip is if he's making bananas foster, which he is not currently doing. A peep seasonal ice cream. 
All right, I can get behind is that. Is it just like a marshmallow ice cream? I can get behind that. Nine's a peach chip. I like Hannaford's ice cream. Um, Nine might have had Hannaford's before. I've never had Hannaford's. Uh, I've not had. Hannaford's is a little further up in Massachusetts for us, so not uh, having been in Rhode Island, I haven't. But I know Nine got stuff from Hannaford's when he was like working. Well, I don't know if you ever had it. No, no. Pepper, me and my dad used to yeah, we have a small pile. Um, oh, that's uh, my favorite. On the rare occasion, I shouldn't say rare occasion. Uh, on occasion, I would go and. Good night, Lil and Chill. Thank you for one. the raid tonight. We appreciate you being here and chatting with us tonight. Right. I can't wait to see you in Amsterdam. Please come say Oops. hi to us. Yes, do we it. We have stickers, stickers and stuff to give out. We do, just because we can. Um, come get stickers from us. No, so yeah, when I would go to Hannaford's, like I said, if I was on like a 24 and I was feeling like, oh, it's been one of those days, I would get like a pint of like the Ben. Good night, Lee. The, uh, Have a great week out. Uh, ben and Jerry's fish food. Mm. And I would maw that down. If uh, I got I got better I got more pay from that I got better because um, I would do like half in like the afternoon and then half in the evening. If I leave all of this stuff home, I love fish food. Y'all have permission to like beat me over the head because I have pins and I have stickers and I have some buttons. Not all these are going, but. I will be significantly lighter than I need to be. I'm not gonna screw it up this time. Plus I have my other bag of stickers. We're gonna bring those too. <laughs> Sean. Oh yeah, you absolutely come. It's fair. Uh, uh, yeah, it's yes, passive. Graham. Uh, you really mm -hmm. won't see That's it. That's a new change for this year. You won't see it because it's passive. There's no there's nowhere to see it. You just have to know that it's running. They are working on a visual indicator. Yeah. But again, because it's not a technical buff, it's hard to show that. So they're looking for a way to be able to display that. So they're working on something in the future. But uh, right now it's just passive completely. They kind of toggle it on, if you will, for events. Yep. And we just got to trust the system. Uh, but it does no, stack. No, okay, it's not a buff. It's not considered a buff anymore, like it used to. Espresso honeycomb. That, I feel like Nine would like that. That sounds good. Yeah, I feel like that's up in Night Valley. I'm not a big espresso person. You're a mint chocolate chip, but it's got to be green. That's fair. Honestly, every so often, I don't Ooh, mind. Briars. Briars change theirs to a white mint. Which I don't mind because it's a little bit more fragrant. Because uh, I know, it's like I said, the reason it's white is because mint leaves, while yes, mint leaves are green, the mint flavor is not, so. I extracted it. Yeah. Yeah, Brand, and that's why they're they're trying to have some sort of visual to make people feel a little more comfortable with it. Mm -hmm. Dog. Oh, absolutely, Ace, but the nineties when every food had every awful, like sickening dye in it. I'm already I'm already done so. Just let me keep going. <laughs> My kid's got a chance. I don't. I'm good. I'll keep the green stuff. The uh, the the friendlies monster mash Sunday just mm. doesn't hit the same if it's not green. Oh, oh wait, was the was it green or was it like neon blue? No, it was green. Which You're thinking the... of a cookie monster. Oh, it's cookie monster. Yeah, there's that neon blue one for no reason. Yeah, I don't know if friendlies had that one, but a couple local places have that here. Oh, thank you. Was the the blue one just dyes everything? Your whole mouth. It does. Hello, the, the, the mint chocolate chip doesn't. 
No, it's very sad it should. Come do my daily since nine didn't wait for me. Rude. I didn't wait for you. You didn't wait for me to do dailies. I figured you would just be doing them. While I was in a trial. Oh, you know I talk to chat. I saw that, Sean. They're gonna, yeah, they're gonna sell the blue milk commercially. Are you even in game? <sighs> Which one? The Royal Revelry. Oh no, that's not the pig. No. The, the foe most poor scene. Yeah, I know. That's why I was checking to see if you were on. Yeah, I'm coming. <laughs> no. Nine actually uh, has been trying out because we had to do it for a review. Um, the lactose free milk by Horizon. And Nine, Nine's actually been enjoying it. Not like enough to go out and buy it because it's like $7 for a carton. But Nine has actually been enjoying uh, this free milk. It's good. It's good. It mixes well. <clears throat> um, do you want a roll up here online? Hey, Woodchopper. How you doing? How are you? You only have that one. Are those two? Uh, I only got one. Oh. What's the other one? Revelry. It's the Daisha, uh, the, the Flynn Umbra. Uh, oh, okay. Because that's because I jut one up. That's where I happen to land. All right. You really hope they update fishing? What about fishing? Are you looking for an update on? Because uh, you can port to me. like ro oh, rods we can collect maybe new special lures cosmetic rewards that'd be fun i'd be okay with that cosmetics could be cool. yeah we are, we're a big cosmetics fan here nine uh, is our four-time reigning fashionista guild voted champion you might, i do what the i can stump lost the battle oh <laughs> at least the stump lost There's always that. Did you uh, grab the apple one that I gave you? Ah. Yep. Oh, uh, yeah. That's the king's soils or whatever. Got an obsessed with fishing. Work on mass angler, especially because ink die. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta get. I haven't, I haven't done most of that yet. I. Right. Fishing. They got bad RNG. I don't know if I'll ever get there. <laughs> Every so often I tell myself, you know, Master Angler would be great, and then I just don't. Um, I'll just, I'm gonna tag him, and then you just, I'm just gonna wait for an apple. You just let me know when you. The patron of Parkers. Let me know when you've gotten an apple. Yeah, wait for Chuck. There's one. Yep. Apple. Kill it. Yeah, I will say this one is a little a little more tricky. Um 
solo sometimes. This one isn't super easy to complete uh, solo if you're you're not a big DPSer. I spent two hours on one fish, don't feel bad. That sounds about right. The zero ones are the ones that kill me because, no pun intended, uh, because, like I said, we did an entire event where we went to zero and I was, I'm still one fish away because it just never dropped. Everyone else got it in spades <laughs> and I'm sitting here like, you're lying to me. This fish doesn't exist. Yeah, nine souls, I'll do. Uh, break? When is your break again? I was having dinner with a girlfriend. Had, uh, the third through the 10th. <clears throat> we'll be mm. on the third through the 10th, but we are going to be streaming. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna get our stuff together and probably stream on Saturday. Saturday, like, like. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna try and make that happen. Like eleven ish, late morning. Yeah, we're gonna try and target because we have a little bit of a downtime there. So we're gonna try our best. I, honestly, Magnesium, uh, like I said, you go in during like dead times, and it's really not that bad. It's. Uh, I'm going to be walking into the dome, so... Uh, possibly, possibly. I don't want to say say yes right away. Cause it, it honestly, it's going to depend. At. Yeah. If we're, if we're not, if we don't have everything all buttoned up or 90% buttoned up, then we're probably not because we have to get things buttoned up. All right, not a problem, Magnesium. Not a problem. And again, as a reminder, y'all can go watch us over on YouTube as well. You can love us. You want to support us on what our YouTube support? journey. What? Support to me. I told you I was walking into a delve. Yeah, I'm literally in Ellison Tower. And I'm in Sol... 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 Alright, I'll port to you then. Yeah, I have a different relationship with uh, April 1st than most people. Yeah, it's not really a good one. Uh, how many do you need? Three. There's some other guys over here. One. And check these dead bodies up by me. I don't know if None. All right, there's one out with this guy. No, I'm here. done. I'm done. I got them all. Oh. Well, now I gotta finish off this guy. Thank you, Snow Hippie. All right, I'm going to Illison Tower. I got someone in there. Sweet. I shall wait here. All right, port. I'm not a big fan of April Fool's Day because uh, people tend to joke about things that they shouldn't joke about. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm just constantly anxious that somebody's gonna do something stupid. Uh, nine, uh, right, bad experience with it, so. I just have a low tolerance for idiots, so it's really all I know there are I know there are people that really enjoy it and they have fun and uh, I'm just not about that life. Alright, did you get all of them or do you need more? No, I have one. None of those guys are mutable. Kill them all. More down here.
Alright, that's it. Alright. This is what, Glenumbra? Yeah. That's where it brings me. Anybody have anything fun planned this weekend? Uh, for those that celebrate, I know Easter's this weekend. My kid is super pumped. He is. I was, it was kind of an impromptu change of plans. Um, but like I said, we're going to go to New York. And uh, so he's going to get his Easter basket and do his egg hunt in New York. So he's, he is thrilled. Oh, no. It's been raining here, but this weekend's actually supposed to be nice. It's been raining, and... If the worst part is like I'm really waiting for like the leaves to grow in because like the rain is one thing, but the wind is brutal without the mm -hmm. without those leaves. Yeah. Um, but as a parent, uh, my favorite thing um, is a holiday because it gives me something to threaten my kid with. Yeah. Um. It, it's just uh, some some omnipotent being of of whatever they they are into. Um. Is is like the perfect like? Oh, you don't want to eat your dinner? Well, guess I'm gonna call the Easter Bunny and tell him not to come. <laughs> cool. Oh, oh, you're being a jerk. Cool, I'm gonna call Mel and we're not coming to Disney. Put off buying all the something. Like, oh, cool. Guess you didn't want birthday presents, your fresh little thing. <laughs> and yes, we understand that that will cause emotional scarring and uh, traumatic experiences for our child. But it, but it also builds I, character, so like. I'm not emotionally kidding, traumatized. Kidding, kidding, kidding. No, it's not. It's not like our, the first thing we do is like basically. Oh well, you know, we we will escalate. We'll be like, oh hey, you know, oh well, Mickey would like this. You know, we try to use it as like, oh you know, oh Mickey would like this. You know, oh Figment really likes this, and see where it goes from there. But sometimes it just. You know, oh, well, actually, you're having a, nice a swelter, job. aren't you? Got the heat wave coming through, don't you? What? Giblets, I know what you want oh, to talk so about. I don't want to talk. For a second, like what? Giblets, the dog. <laughs> it is. Oh. Today was surprisingly say, nice. We did uh, um, egg painting with the kiddo via experiment. Giblets, yes. Giblets is a dog. Uh, you can go to Oregon or you can go to Stone Falls. I don't know. Yeah, uh, I should have him on this character. I don't think, a, honestly, other than my main, I don't do think I've star. done like half the quest, like a fraction of the quest. There he is. See, this is uh, Giblets right here. Giblets the doggo. Uh, Giblets is going to basically lead you to his dead owner. Long story short. If you're wondering, oh my god, it's a spoiler. It's been out for 10 years. You're past Rude. your time. Is it? <laughs> uh, sounds about right that my cam is choppy. Uh, I have no way to fix it, so... Are you loading? Mm -hmm. You got a load screen? Let's see. Nope. Just standing here living my best life. Well, you're not wrong, Hawkeye. <laughs> Just wait. <laughs> and adios. I know. Horrible. I'm horrible. Uh...
All right, chat, you've got like two days left to finish up your uh, Rothgar stuff. Outfit. Facts. Can we talk real quick how this meteor mining is literally the best way to mine rocks? What was the spoilage? That, or uh, what Giblets does, where he brings you. This Storm Atro polymorph, it's kind of fun. I, I, uh, so Duma was talking about this quasi griff. Hold on, let me walk more in so you can, you all can see it better. Duma was talking stupid about this quasi griff because it's uh, game room colors. And I really like the quasi griff. I just really wish it wasn't so basic. I also wish it wasn't heavyweight. I I really wish that it was because heavyweights are so, so derpy when they run around. And there's the skin. I just like the eyes on it. Not gonna lie, I just like the eyes on it. Like the skin itself is meh. Looks like someone tie dyed me. And there's the evoker evoker on Erin Tree, which. Makes me look like a villain, but not like a classy villain, like a, a villain who thinks I have class. Bye, Mrs. I've been out. I've been down for a while now. All right, good job, chat. This is my. I'm running at 1.75 frames per second. Headskins are weird. Wait, I don't even know like what to even do. <clears throat> Cause as soon as I click into the game, I drop frames like a mother trucker. No gaming for Mrs. Ninetales. Were you able to get your tickets? Yeah. I'm really sad. Honestly, I probably need a new CPU. My ghost was saying. Uh, I know. That's a Braithorn, maybe. Yeah, we could ask them what I would need. As I said, the problem is my motherboard's a little older. Oh, does it? Oh, yes, I did see it come through. I did see it come through because uh, the pin ships from me. I can guarantee you'll get a pin. Yep. I got it right here, Hawkeye. <laughs> So you'll definitely get the pin. I know that's not the most exciting part of any of it, but. Uh, no, Collector? Uh, maybe I did, hold on. Uh, where did you DM that one to me? Basically, Hawkeye, basically. Oh, I did, I read it, and then I thought I responded like a jackweed. Um, but yes. It's it's so spot on. It's no pin through security. I don't think it's going to be an issue getting it through security. I don't think they're going to. Yeah, I haven't had any issues uh, taking pins on before. Vanillish. It's like vanilla ish. 
Is that the Pokemon that just came through? It's vanilla-ish. Ish. Ish. Sorta. Kinda. Maybe. <laughs> kinda. Maybe. So. Yes. Basically conductor. Oh. So here's the thing is um, on my opera browser that that beaver doesn't come through for me it just looks like a golf ball <laughs> it's just it's just a white circle i don't actually see it it took me the longest time to figure out what y'all were were putting in chat <laughs> i I, uh... I i had no idea and eventually i caught on so now i just know that the golf ball i see is actually Oh, you're crocheting a peep? Oh, I love peeps. Is it opera that's causing that? I don't, I, I just, I see it as a golf ball. <laughs> Let me look uh, in Chrome. Because nine's, nine's Twitch is logged into my Chrome. Oh, there's one I didn't see. Okay, I didn't see the peep. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh no, Chrome. I see it in Chrome too. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know why the, the beaver is a golf ball. I'm seeing That's... a beaver on my end. What browser are you using? Uh, just OBS. Oh, OBS shows it. Interesting. Interesting. But so I want to I want to uh, get chat's perspective. So we have we have we were able to save a little bit of money for Amsterdam and we'd like to do one of the cheese experiences. So there is one experience, which is an Amsterdam cheese tasting with wine and beer pairing. It's like kind of a more modern environment. Think, you know, more like, you know, casual, like bar restaurant, you know, like kind of a little more like brewery tap room style, right? And you get, um, what do you get? Cheese samples and beer or wine. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. And you get a discount voucher to spend in their shop. That one is like $20. There's another one. I know, right? <laughs> oh, you have a wine fest there? Long mm, Island does a wine, wine fest. fest. They have a wine trail. Oh, I've been dying to do it. Much better than having a... I'm not going to finish that. Yeah, don't. Uh, there's another one, which is only $10. Wine, I know, Bella. <laughs> I'm all in for wine. There's another one, which is further outside. So the other one is like in Amsterdam. This one's further outside Amsterdam. It's a little bit of a hike, but it's $10. <laughs> you get uh, a day out in a private cheese farm with tastings. You want a private tour of a local cheese farm and wooden shoe factory. You get a professional photo of your group in traditional Dutch costume. So they dress you up in a Dutch costume and give you a tour of their cheese farm and wooden shoe factory. So I'm trying to decide between the two. Interesting that they raise cheese out in the fields, right? Right, conductor? <laughs> So well, that's just where they the raise it. The cheese is birthed like in the in the barn. So you get tasting cheese, typical Dutch cookies, and fruit wine in their tasting area, and the private tour of the farm. I'm into that for everything except the wine and cheese. What? What is this? Uh, so I don't know. 
whether you, you know, to do, again, it's a little bit cheaper, but it's more of a hike and you get to dress up. <laughs> Or there's the other one, which is more like classic modern, like bar. Mm, texture shoes. Um, you know, you get a couple, you get like a glass of wine and a couple things of cheese, but it's a little more local. And I can't decide. You say go for the experience. Like I said, they have the availability on both, I think. Let's see. Yeah, they have the availability on both. But trying to decide. Because there's also like the the um, the canal boats. And sometimes they do like a wine and cheese on the the canal boats. Again, as uh, Night and I really enjoy wine and cheese. So <laughs> for Can't us, it's a, a fun thing. All right. Um. I mean, who can go wrong with wine and cheese? Like in the grand scheme of things, right? Like, do something that you couldn't get the same here in the states. That's fair. That is fair. I think I'd do pretty much anything if you told me there was cheese, right? That's. Me. <laughs> I would do some questionable things for wine and cheese. Just like really, fun. I like there's uh, these people have pictures of, you know, like it's a, you know, because you book through like a little tour group website. And so there's the people who've been on the tours before. I am just, they took a picture of two cow butts. It's like a close up of cow butts. And yeah. Well, if I care to see through your images, so do something fun. Uh, so as I said, the one thing we really, really, really wanted to do was the Van Gogh Museum. So we, we booked tickets for that. And then, like I said, I looked at the budget. We were able to do something else small um, if we chose cheese. to live on peanut butter and jelly. So I figured the, the wine and cheese experience would be fun. All right. So chat saying to go with the experience. Is that what you want, right? Yeah, I'm okay with experiences. Um, do we want to do that? Because we're doing on Tuesday the museum. Oh, we got we got a goose in chat. We got geese in chat. <laughs> I know I know where Payne's gonna spend their time. I know where Payne's gonna spend their time. Payne's going clubbing. Oh, Kui is coming with us. Yeah. Uh, to eat wine and cheese yep. and not rave. We are because we're all old. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna end up taking uh, uh, Okui and Sage, and and then we're gonna bail. We're all gonna bail paint out afterwards. <laughs> uh, we have tickets booked on Tuesday the night. We're doing Tuesday the night because we leave on the tenth. So. We're right now trying to figure out uh, if we want to do the wine and cheese on Monday or potentially later in the day on Sunday. Yeah, I booked the tickets for Van Gogh. Uh, we are doing, was it 13, was it 1315 or 1345? What did you pick? Uh, like 1345, I believe. Yeah, so 145 on Tuesday, we're doing Van Gogh. Leaving the Monday. Oh, you can come do wine and cheese with us. Uh, they dress you. <laughs> if anybody, if anybody's interested and wants to go to this, um, I'm winging everything. <laughs> uh, I will say that Van Gogh is almost completely sold out uh, for the days that we're there. So if that is something you're gonna do, uh, <laughs> book it now. <laughs> See where the night takes us. I uh, I want to I do want to take uh, some time in the red light district and check that out. Um, and then, like I said, we we really really want to do Van Gogh. Otherwise, eh, it looks so fun. You're getting in Thursday, going home Sunday. Oh, I know. We said my mom. My mom was like, "Don't just go for the event." She's like, "You're gonna go to another country," and she's like, "The likelihood of you." 
going back anytime soon. She's just like, just no. stay and take a little time. She's just like, it's, it's stupid to go all the way there. So like I said, we scrimped and scrounged and <laughs> uh, for forewent a lot of other things to, to kind of extend it a little bit. So, um, so yeah, that's why I said because this this cheese experience, this one's only ten dollars a person, which isn't too bad. So you get to dress up in traditional Dutch costume and drink wine and cheese. Right, sleeping bell, and that's what you said. I've only ever left the country once. Uh, Nine's only ever left the country once. No, I can't, I can't say that. Because you did I've go left, to Mexico. I say I've left the country a number of times. It's always against my will, but well, again, I was gonna say that wasn't military forced. But you've you've been to Mexico. I've never been to Mexico. You're down for wine and cheese. You said you're leaving. When the hell are you leaving? You're leaving Monday. So why don't we? Do, you want to do it Sunday? We can do it Sunday. I just have to be able to check into my next hotel. Because uh, we can do Sunday the 7th. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's plenty of times here. Because what, three o'clock? I want to go too late. All sold out. Yeah, pay. I, I like was like, holy crap the other night because we were <laughs> we were doing our D&D game and I was like, oh, I should probably go on and buy the tickets. And I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> so I uh, I threw it over tonight. I'm like, pick a day quick. <laughs> and Tuesday, thank God, still had some availability. Oh yeah, you should absolutely do that. Oh, one hundred percent. Let's see. Um, I mean, we could always nine if you wanted to on Sunday. We could check out early, have them hold our luggage. And then we could do like a noon. Do we want to do that? Yeah, that's fine. Are you guys down to do cheese at noon? Who's not down to do cheese? TMB helped on that. I, I'm sorry, conductor. I realized I like put it yeah, in you do you. the Pain? You the do. the team B chat. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> I was like, my bad. Uh, and that I'm so dead after events that I need work trips to be just that because apparently I'm 80. Oh, no. As I said, we will we'll usually end up killing ourselves, but I'm like, well, I feel like it's worth it. There are worse things. Um, all right. My phone's like blowing up for some reason. Uh, you can also check out Golden Vendor, too. I can right after I ate. Lucid, Lucid asked me to help run some stuff and then never got back to me. So I'm like, oh, <laughs> Lucid doesn't want your help anymore. I, sure. That's what I figured. Yeah, I'm super excited for, for Van Gogh. Um, Van Gogh. Like I said, and, and honestly, I'm not going to lie that my my fascination with Van Gogh is very much linked to the Doctor Who episode. It was for me that Doctor Who episode was just very, very powerful. Money. Um, and I, I really would like to see them in person. I would love, love, love to see those paintings in person. Like I said, that the the Vincent the Doctor is by far money. my one of my favorite episodes. What? Oh, money, same. money, money. And the uh, the what? episode. Yeah, it is um. one of the best episodes by far. Um, it was yes, Brand. Yep, the with the Bill Nye who played the the curator, the science guy. Um, not that Bill Nye. Yeah, 
as I said, it, it's the the best the best the best quote the, the one that like resonates with me, and I've been dying to get it like on a like a you Tattoo. know like a white girl sign like you know when they hang up those inspirational quotes in their house, I want one of those. But the the quote for those who are not familiar with it is the way I see it: every life is a pile of good things and bad things. The good things don't always soften the bad things, but vice versa, the bad things don't always spoil the good things and make them unimportant. And it is such a powerful, powerful episode. It has a lot to do with mental health and just, you know, how, again, you, you can't always change things. And uh, so we did one Bella here in Boston. I was very disappointed. I'm not yeah. going to lie. We're back. Excellent. All right. So uh, for anybody at Amsterdam, I'm booking this one here. And I'm booking it for noon on Sunday, the 7th. So if anybody wants to do it, then by all means. Book now too? Yeah. Hear that, Hawkeye? <laughs> hmm. 12% cash back. Heck yeah. Yeah, but as I said, they give you wine and cookies and cheese and fruit. I'm in. What else? 19 doll hairs, English speaking guide. Okay, with this, give me my points. I did the Van Gogh experience when I came here. I may have been a little weepy pie. Honestly, I'm not. Uh, no, Hawkeye. No, not on Sunday. Not that I'm aware of. Uh, my itinerary does not have anything for Sunday because that's the check out and get the F out. Uh, Friday and Saturday are all of the main events. Come on, you fruit loop. my credit card so. booked at 12 easy nice uh yeah yeah okay yeah yeah because it's a max of like 15 people so uh, we're all just gonna they show do up. like small groups yeah we're all just gonna show up that day thank you bella make george stay an extra day secret Love us, george. portal <laughs> secret portal <laughs> Going through the boom portal. reserved. Have a great trip, Amanda. I will. I will. Thank you very much. What? Beefy's butchery. Tiefel's butchery. A uh, heefel. I'm like he, and I'm like not heefy. <laughs> Rude. I just want Super to point hot. out the fact that wow, rude. Pain. Uh, throw it over to uh, Oki too. Yeah. Um, ah, you probably have a whoa, DM going with him whoa, of some sort. <laughs> rude. Rude. Where did this guy get so fast? No, you won't. He's slowing you down. Huh? He's slowing you down. He's I, throwing hot oil on you. I know. He's trying to season me and marinate me. And I'm like, bro. Awesome. Like. I put it in the stream team chat and nobody wanted to, they everybody ignored me, so I was like, cool. <laughs> Sounds cool talk, right. guys. <laughs> cool talk. Great talk. Awesome. I, I get like a I get like a little burst of Bro. Yeah, oh I'm a turn and fight alright. Bro, come at me. We'll all rent bikes and we'll all bike to this place. Bicycle. Bicycle. Turn and fight. Good job, good job. What he's uh he's still Yeah, he's still on. Oh, is he? Yeah, he needs to turn his camera. Like, a uh, like sweet rig that he's got there, but, like, bro. <laughs> let me see your face. Maybe he just doesn't want to look at you. I don't blame him. I don't want to look. <laughs> Apocrypha tentacle carving. 
Ooh, woo. Yeah, we did the, um, well, there's two different Van Gogh exhibits, interactive ones. There's one where you're just in the room and it's just the art on the walls. I was a little disappointed in that one, but there's another one where you get to actually, like, they have like little sets built of all the different paintings in the scene and you get to like actually interact with it. Oh, sweet. Awesome. I'm excited. All gonna Again, you better be do it quick. You better do it quick before space. it closes up. Eh, I don't know. It's this little podunk farm. I doubt it'll completely book up. Oh, you're talking about the cheese. I thought you were talking about Van Gogh. Yeah, 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 the cheese. Yes. That's why I said we can all uh, all rent little bikes. Bike there. <laughs> That'll be great. My brother's ignoring me. Son of a biscuit. I'm so excited. I'm so happy. I said, Nine and I do not uh, get to do this stuff very often, so. Yeah, no, we're not. We do not get to go out and be human very often. It's, uh. <laughs> you need to know how to use a bike. Maybe you can get a tandem bike. Ooh. And you could ride on the back of Nine's bike. Oh, I was going to say, <laughs> put uh, Hawkeye and Payne together, but, you know, that works, too. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Payne. I was going to say, yeah, can does Payne know how to manually bike anymore? <laughs> Basically, Payne has a motorcycle, mm. a, a tiny, scrawny motorcycle. That's what that is, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Biking involves actual pedaling. <laughs> the Vespa. <laughs> a little scooter. I'm gonna zoom down red light going <laughs> 30 miles an Good hour. <laughs> Scope them out fast. <laughs> I feel like the, the point of led, red light district is to not go fast. I feel like you want to get your money's worth. I do it a couple times. You get your money's worth. I mean, what? It's not like, <laughs> all right, thirty bucks. You get to walk down red light, you know, red light district, and that's it. Then you pay another thirty pounds to come back. No, it's. I'm pretty sure there's no money they don't involved. Do pounds there. Whatever euros. Euros, oh. euros, sir. Euros, sir. The point is that something tells me that's just over the street. Like if I were to walk down Broadway. <laughs> People can't control that. Hey, listen, listen. I'm just saying. A uh, once in a lifetime experience for Is some it? people. Good Maybe, for you, uh... Hawkeye. We're just going to hang out with you. <laughs> don't uh, don't be taking any pictures. Rude. Uh... That was my confirmation. I have two rooms now because, oh, <laughs> yeah, I, um, I, uh, booked, I always pay a little bit extra to book something with free cancellation. Right downtown for walking and stuff. So yeah, I know that's what, um, I think Sean, Sean LaRock was also looking for it was something right, right, uh, close. <laughs> Yeah, no, no worry. That's what I said. There, I'm hoping, I'm hoping at the event is when they tell us about the local events because then we can better plan the year with you guys. Yo. Oh, okay. That's good. That's good, though. Oh, that's not bad at all. At least you're not totally out of... Uh... Yeah, it's not like a waste. It's Yeah, not just a vacant room. Switching to a two-twin bedroom in case someone needs a bed. That's fair. That's fair if you can. I mean... That's always a uh, nice thing to have an option. But as I said, we the, the kings tend to be cheaper. So I guess I'd, we sleep in a king size bed now with each other and kick each other all night. So although I'm on vacation, so I should have gotten two beds and made him sleep in his own bed. So he doesn't bother me at night. <laughs> so nine, nine's a snuggler. 
Nine is also a freaking furnace. Also true. And I don't like the heat. And he has like a python death grip. So like when he comes over to snuggle, it's not just like, oh, he like lays his arm over me. No, he like curls it under and like touches himself again. Like he puts me in like not a constrictor that way. grip. Not that way. Get your head out of the gutters. Pain, <laughs> Hawkeye. <laughs> he like, he like reaches completely around and I'm like, nah. Do it, collector. Like it, it is just I. Like, he puts me in this this death grip, and the problem is, is because I I have such a bad back. I I move a lot. I move. I fidget. I toss. I turn back and forth because I get very uncomfortable very quickly. And I also use a body pillow because it it sits between my knees to even out my hips so that my back stays more aligned. So now I have to move. I have to like wrestle out of his death grip to be able to like turn and move and fidget. <laughs> I'm like, bro, I love you too. But again, it wouldn't be so bad if he just kind of like, you know, put his arm over me. Like, no, he's got to like curl. Like he is like a goddamn teapot. And I'm like, bud. And you've all seen how good of a teapot I make. And I say to the Raiders, I couldn't go to sleep till Rad made it back. Lady stayed out late with pain a lot. <laughs> oh. Uh, learning that not happens to the den. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people were out late. I, I, I couldn't. See, when Knight and I were talking about this today, because obviously West Coast... You guys are three hours behind. So midnight there is 3 a.m. my body's time. Secret I am portal. old. I oh. am old. It does not work. But now you put us in Amsterdam. Like, <laughs> honestly, the daytime events are going to destroy us because, well, let me pull it. It's on my phone. I put in my itinerary into my phone. Um... So like, where am I? we have a, a thing, I can't tell you guys things yet, but we have a thing that is going to be at 5.30 a.m. my body's time. <laughs> Hi, V, how you doing? Are you going? Are you going to Amsterdam? Are we going to see you? <laughs> um, it carries why I stay in the military. Yeah, nine's always screwed up with the time zones. <gasps> You're gonna be there with your mom! Yay! That's so exciting. I'm so happy to see everybody there again. You're going with your mom too, Hawkeye? If you're referring to me, <laughs> I hope you're referring to Rad. I hope it's Rad. It better be Rad. Okay. <laughs> Goose bag. <laughs> oh, all the geese. Um, but yeah, so nine and I have a thing that my body <laughs> is gonna be five eight five thirty a.m. I'm not a morning person at all. And the, the worst part is, is <clears throat> our flight is leaving four forty five U.S. time. Four forty five U.S. time. And then we are getting there at 11.45 p.m. U.S. time, Eastern time. Which is going to be 5.45 a.m. Amsterdam time. I can't check into the hotel until 3 p.m. So my mother is watching you always. Hi, Mrs. Yiki. Hi. <laughs> we need to sleep on the plate. I know. That's what I'm going to need to do because we're going to get in it like basically midnight, my body's time. And then I'm going to have to be functional at 5.30 a.m. my time. And I'm like, oh, and I don't have a bed to crash in between midnight and 
5 30 a.m so i'm like i could have slept for a period of that time and then been ready to go but we're basically gonna be up wednesday we're gonna get up at you know our normal you know 8 a.m when my my toddler have fun hawkeye when my 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 toddler jumps on me at 8 a.m and then i am going to be up till 8 a.m the next morning when i start my day oh and then I am going to be up until everything finishes for the day because my my obligations are ending at like noon <laughs> on Thursday. Yeah, they uh, it'll be good. It'll be good. It'll be worthwhile. It'll be worthwhile. But again, they're uh, there. It's noon again. Noon my body's time. So like. It's just, it's it's going to be an experience because I know everybody's probably going to want to grab dinner after the fact, so then we're going to go out to dinner. So honestly, Thursday the 4th is going to be a crash hard night. Crash hard. Done. And then like, hope to wake out. up the next morning. Yeah, and then hopefully get my body on track. Um, just in time to come it's, home. It's gonna be it's going to be a long day on Friday. So... <laughs> My body's, yeah, my body's going to get just right, and then I'm going to have to come home and reset myself. Yeah, George, yeah, it is. <laughs> so. But I feel bad because, like. It's going to be so much fun, and I'm going to try not to just be obnoxiously tired the entire time. I, I you know, again, it, it's, it's a lot. We probably should have came one day earlier and went home one day earlier. But we didn't, so but. here we are. So again, praying that the U.S. meetup for this year is going to be on the East Coast. <laughs> so I don't have to adjust to any time zones. I'll, you know what? I'll even take Central. Central's one hour. It just screws me up by an hour. I guess it's not that bad. But no shot is not. I don't know. I... I think there's potential that they combine it with QuakeCon. Mm, like, like why not? Why not combine it with QuakeCon? That would be pretty cool. Orange and popcorn. Oh, do you want nine to say popcorn? Popcorn. <laughs> and the missus has to say orange. Yeah, 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 yeah. For this year. Yeah. Obviously, the, the 2025 one will be in Maryland. Yeah, like I said, I'm kind of hoping... I would love for it to be QuakeCon because, again, Texas should be fine. It's not all the way out on the West Coast. But I've been wanting to go to QuakeCon, but we just haven't had the funds to do all these different events. I know he calls it popcorn, but it's orange. My son calls it orange. He he calls it orange. I think it's orange. Orange. <laughs> Nine, Nine did most of his military, like, medical training in Texas, so he's very familiar, mostly in, what, San Antonio? Yeah. Um, so he loves Texas. He enjoys Texas a lot. Um, and again, in the San Antonio area, he really knows his way around. But um, Fort Sam. Yeah. Yes. Gotta love Fort Sam. Who doesn't love Fort Sam? Yes. <laughs> Well, you did Fort Sam, and what was the other one you did a training, or uh, Moab? Uh, we did Moab in El Paso at um, whatever's in El Paso. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm drawing a blank on the name. Blackland? Oh, yeah. Yeah. He is correct. <laughs> well, you can thank Blippi for that. I don't know. Blippi has some questionable interests. <laughs> His days of pooping on people's chests, I think, are over. Hi, Borful. That's Blippi, not my child. His days are still far from over. <laughs> We're very clear about that. Um... Well, so my my son for sorry, I was messaging. Um, 
So my my son watches this this you know TV character. It's a you know a real a real you know flesh and bones person. Uh, his name is Blippy. Blippy's shtick uh, is that he acts kind of how a three, four, you know, like toddler age kid would react to doing something fun and cool and different, right? So he is very, 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 very childish. His history, he was in the Air Force for two years and then decided to leave the Air Force because he didn't want to have to travel. He couldn't hack it. Got it. So he did two years in the Air Force and then got out. He started making content when uh, the Harlem Shake was in fashion, if y'all remember the Harlem Shake. Um, you don't Google. Obviously, there was a lot of wacky and wild things that happened in the Harlem Shakes. So he apparently defecated on his friend's chest in whatever Harlem Shake video he did. Well, when Blippi became popular, and I think it was like BuzzFeed took kind of a deep dive into his past and what he did prior and all of this stuff, they this video surfaced. So like everybody was like freaking out, like, oh, beloved toddler actor, you know, pooed on someone's chest. Okay, listen, listen. Y'all he did never it when he was it. young and stupid, mostly stupid. Like if they're saying like you've never done anything stupid as a kid. He did it, you know, as as part of this stupid trend, whatever. My child, he's not actively encouraging my child to do that. He is he is my child at three years old is like not <laughs> like. <laughs> My my child has no idea he's done this, right? He's he's watching the content that's out there. I I think out of all the things this man could have possibly have done. Pain, pain. Sir, you show your stupid videos. You you actually have showed us multiple times your stupid videos. Where do you think pain feet uh, come from? Yeah. <laughs> People didn't just find out about the whole foot thing. So <laughs> I suggest maybe don't do that. But like there there are people out there, in my opinion, that have done far worse, right? Like there's all these these scandals coming out about, you know, the, the childhood actors having been like molested and like all of this stuff, right? Guy crapped on his friend's chest. Listen. Hardly the worst thing out there. Idiot, stupid, stupid, dumb. And then you put it on film, which was even more dumb. But like, <laughs> there's no finding. They're advertising exactly icky. So like, I'm just like, okay, listen. You know, like, oh, you let your child watch that guy? Oh my god! Like, calm down. Yes. Calm down. <laughs> These are the same people who are like, you know, people deserve second chances and blah 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 blah. Like, okay, he did one stupid thing in his younger days. He's very sorry for it. That was the first and last time he moved on. Like, let the man live his life. But now there's like a, an imposter blippy and he's... It's not an imposter blippy. It's his overseas he's blippy. He's an imposter. It's his he's, overseas he's, blippy. It's his travel blippy. So he got... Blippy got so big that he basically needed a stunt double to do like the live shows and... Overseas you know, the, and things like yeah, that. Yeah, the, the, the episodes that are a little further from home because he does it on the West Coast. Which, as a reminder, Justin Bieber peed in the mopping bucket. I, I, as a I reminder, swear to God, everybody's for done everyone. something stupid. I'm sorry, like I've done stupid things that I'm glad are not on film somewhere. Like, yeah, well, our marriage is on film, so. Oh. Hi, Kimber. The moral of the story <laughs> is just as a reminder to everyone: um, you may think that Blippy is, you know, like, oh my God, it's stupid. <laughs> Um, I just want to point out that for those of you who don't know, Blippi is a childhood, uh, as a child's like, you know, image. It's like they, he teaches things and all that. Blippi's net worth is 140 million. 
and growing. Bro with, acts like a child, plays on playgrounds for a living. With YouTube, it, uh, with YouTube merchandise sales, partnerships, major brands, and live touring. So y'all can sit there and be like, oh, bro, do the Harlem Shake. Oh, you know, cancel them. 140 million. <laughs> just saying. Just saying. And you're me. working at your same shit job. We all are. <laughs> right? Like, just take into consideration the fact that. Like, Child entertainment is money. TMZ. I definitely like like veteran blippy, not not new yeah. squeaky high pitched blippy. This though. is this is veteran blippy. This is classic blippy. This is the guy who couldn't hack it in the air force. Just so we all. <laughs> so like I told, I've even told, uh, Yik that like, you know, Yik, I'm in the wrong line of work. Like, no offense to y'all. I... <laughs> For just dollars a day, you too can give my net worth up to that ten dollars. Anyway, um, is that I like I love y'all and all that, but like my target audience should not be gamers. My target audience should be children, because right. while ch but children have no money, no, but their parents do, and their parents and their will parents spend are short any on patience. <laughs> number of doll hairs for their children. I can't stand him. I take. I I don't like him. Like it's just he's super annoying because he's way too high energy for me, and I don't. I, I, I he's he's just too high strung. But I prefer the old Blippy over the new Blippy. The new Blippy is even worse. You said it was TMZ that went at him. Uh, Buzzfeed. Buzzfeed. Just be careful uh, searching for someone booing on a chest. No. So the I want to point out. I want to point out that. BuzzFeed, BuzzFeed. Is, has a net worth of 71 mil. If I were Blippy, I would have clapped back and been like, you realize that my net worth is twice what you are, right? <laughs> like, just point, just want to point that out. Like, oh, hey, remember that time you did that thing on, on camera? Uh, yeah. <laughs> that time I'm worth more than you? Yeah. And now, like me. funny, yeah, yeah, no, you're absolutely right. I did do that. I'm very ashamed of it. Oh, also, um, here, let me just wipe my tears with, you know... Hundred dollar bills like, because I have twice additional hundred mil I'm worth. Yeah, you know. Oh, here I left you a tip. Like you know, it's about a third of your net worth because I've still got more. It's like that's like the ultimate clapback, honestly. Like we're gonna try and tear you down because you're worth more than we are. People are wild. Oh my People God. are wild. But yes, they like said. He did something stupid when he was younger. People need to get over it. I got you, Bran. People you. need to chill the F out. I even moved the treat bot so that it's like... Uh, we can't see it on the camera. On the camera. Oh, wait, I wasn't sure if that was the purpose. No, I moved it so like you can see. She's passed out with her uh, doggy ice cream in front of her. I think what, Maritime treated her? Oh, Case. Case did. Ice cream. Yeah, case of the ice cream. But yes, uh, we do have uh, Tritos that are not on cooldown. For anybody interested, you can uh, reward her with Tritos out of her Trito dispensing machine for 100 bitties. Uh, the little panels below for anybody that would like to go that route. The little blue box next, next door mm -hmm. is the treat bot. I don't have to get up. They're high value treats. They're little meaty treats for her. Yep. She dispense them at her own free will. It should be online. Yeah, it's online. Sweet. Oh, but yes, there's there's a lot. There's a lot gonna be happening in the next two weeks, and then when we get back from Amsterdam, that a week off. We have my son has the break, so we we basically will get a couple of days to finish out the week. Then my son's on uh, school vacation from the 14th through the 20th. What and then what the following week, nine leaves for St. Jude. 
and the battle. What battle? Which battle are you talking about? <laughs> uh... Oh. What's Trito about about dispensing. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Yay. Know what they are. <laughs> uh, I still see 16 minutes left. Ish. She's looking at them like, Dad, give them to me. <laughs> Nine's still getting up anyway. I know, right? Get off your fat butt and get them. <laughs> well, 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 if it isn't Swirly. Oh, hey, hey. Swirly. What's up? <laughs> Hey, how's it going, my friend? How you doing? How's the family? So excited. I know. She's such a lazy doggo right now. Is. No reason. We are we are hanging in there, Spooly. <sighs> we are hanging in there. Well, actually, I do appreciate you giving her. She does not as much, unfortunately. I apologize for her. Deliver my treat, peasant. I know, I know right? right? You know what the machine does? I know, she just doesn't want you to look at her. God, Dad, stop everyone, looking at me. Everyone look at her. <laughs> Susan Laura had her kid back in December. We watch her every Saturday. It's good practice. Oh, nice. sounds like you want babies. I know, I know, Claire. She's just going to slowly move until she's like, oh, I guess this is where I'm going to lay. Oh, hey, there's treat here since I'm laying here anyway now all of a sudden. Yeah. You know, <laughs> Such a weirdo. Uh. So I said she likes to look all stoic. He's doing good, Swirly. He turns four uh, in like like a month and a half. He's a big boy with a very big personality. Yep. I know. I know it's really four. He is turning four. Um, and he's uh, almost, he's halfway potty trained. <laughs> he's, he's moving along, moving along. Can we talk real quick? Real, like real talk. Like speaking of big personalities that this kid has. How today alone He will, he will tell me at like any number of times per day that I'm not allowed to say that. <laughs> Dad, you're not allowed to say that. Daddy, don't say that. Daddy, don't say that. I'm like, get out of here, kid. I'm kid, I'm 37. You're three. Relax. I can say what I need to. You're all good, Matthias. <laughs> well, that's what the other day I told him. I told him like three times, put your pants on. So eventually I was like, Put your damn pants on. And he looks at me and he says, don't say damn. Don't say damn pants. I'm like, you don't say it. <laughs> right? Or what was it uh, today at dinner? Like, I was sitting there. Like, daddy, you have to sit and eat. Like, no way. I, oh, yeah, yeah. He told you to sit down and eat. But it's because we tell him to sit down and eat. Um... What 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 did he he cursed from upstairs the other day? What did he when the kid becomes her? I know he does it. He does it all the time to us. But there was something, and he cursed upstairs. We heard him because we were sitting on the couch, and Nine looked at me. I looked at Nine. He's like, "Did you hear what I just hear?" Oh, was it the box? Yeah, I'm in the box. Did he he said stupid effing box? There's something along those lines. Or shit box. Oh, thank you, Bell. Bell. 31 months. <laughs> 31 months. That's still loud. Thank you, Bell. Look how pretty Bell is. Just saying. Just saying. 
Um, but yeah, it was, he was upstairs and he like got into a wrestling match with a box. It was like in his way or something. And he went to kick it and it box like, was winning. you know, it like, yeah, it fought back or whatever. <laughs> and I, I'm pretty sure, we, I think he said the F word. We thought he did. We figured he did. And that's why it's, it's, we, I, we thought it's cause we just heard stupid fucking box. And I'm like, what? <laughs> He's, because like I said, he's Mr. Independent. So we're, you know, we're letting him, you know, have as much independence as possible. So he, we sent him upstairs to go get something, to go do something, whatever it was. And so, you know, because he goes up and downstairs, up and downstairs just fine. And, you know, he's pretty good. So there's a stupid effing box. And we hear it and he's like smashing the box. And we're like, bud, what are you doing? What's going on, man? <laughs> what are you doing, dude? But of course, you just can't help. <laughs> but laugh and uh, you know he has those moments where you tell him three times you're like don't do it don't do it don't do it so of course he was he was Does standing it. on something just before a shreem he was standing on something and <laughs> kid fell right on his oh, face he's sitting on the couch scorpioned no on the snark. <laughs> thank you so much yeah <laughs> Uh -huh, yicky. <laughs> Classic. Yeah, he was sitting on the couch and he was like trying to like reach like for something like on the table, but missed. It just went right onto the floor. Yeah, a scorpion. Yep. Fa you know, face down, feet up. It was, you know, classic, classic little fox. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yiki broke the printer. No, I ripped the cord out. Mrs. broke the printer. There it is. We're good. Back online. It's back online. Hype and train. <laughs> yes, there is one uh, case. There is a train going on. All oh, can get in on it. But yeah, no, he's he's got a wild personality. We uh, we decided to color eggs uh, as a science experiment this year. So instead of just doing like the regular, you know, vinegar with the little dye tablet, whatever, um, we I found this little dye kit in Walmart, and basically it was um, the dye crystals, basically a crushed up tablet. Oh, thank you, Sorely. <laughs> ah, Yiki, you got a print, sir. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, Helping is super helpful. Icky, Icky, you have yours right here. Sir, you got a print. <laughs> we appreciate all you guys, even though you torment me with this printer. Best um, torment device ever. It was my worst idea I've had so far. Um, but I forgot what I was saying. Oh, we did the science experiment today. He was so thrilled. He harassed us about these eggs all day. Um, but basically, it was like the little, like, uh, basically the crushed up dye tablet instead. You threw baking soda in, and then you poured the vinegar in so that it made basically a volcano. And he was so excited. And it was super easy and took far less time and didn't have to be in my house, which was nice. So, can't complain too much. No. I get excited for that. It was really cool. It was really cool. He had a lot of fun with that. So we did that today. And then again, we're going to be taking the rest of the Easter show on the road. Yeah. <coughs> As I die. Stop dying. I just need Remember my, my nut to uh, drop and we'll be fine. Excuse me? I said what I said. I need my nut to drop. Well. Not just one, just one. Like, I mean, I'll take multiple, but. Just cough. <laughs> Maybe. Does that help? It's always an option. <laughs> Bye, all Thank you, Sir. <laughs> Have a good night, Swirly. We appreciate you. Thank you much. I will do my best. You need, um, what? 
<sighs> I'm not so like so like I got the seedling right I got the seedling already and the acorn the lost grot oak acorn is what I'm looking for now so the the nut I don't appreciate it. Yes, yeah, that. Nothing like that. A little bit uh, like that. Does your mother know about that one, Yik? <laughs> Let me help you. Yiki is spicy. How many beverages is Yiki in on right now? Does Yiki's mother know that he <laughs> talks to me with that mouth? Does she? <clears throat> oh boy. I... Uh, did you go to the Golden and Lux yet? Oh yeah, no, I... Uh, well, let's see what we got for the Golden Vendor. So we have Helms this week. We have Baron Thirsk. And the Euphotic Gatekeeper. Well, she didn't. She's about to. <laughs> now she's asking. Thanks. It was all in the name of charity. Very noble. Um, there's also the Briar Heart Necklace, the Jorv Necklace, Jorvald's Guidance, Overwhelming Surge Neck, and War Maiden Neck. So that's some decent pieces in there. Um, Baron Thirsk is, um... Cauldron. Out of, uh, Imperial City. Yeah, I thought it was Cauldron. Oh, no, who am I thinking of? Baron Thirsk. That's one of the, uh, the bosses. Oh, right, right, right. Um, and then the Euphotic Gatekeeper is out of Graven Deep. So, again, both... Not super easy places to get to, depending on uh, how you play. So definitely some great options if you want to purchase them for your sticker book at the very least. Um, but yeah, so not 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 too bad stuff. Um. I love them to close their doggos. It's cold heart. It's Suki. Uh, uh, my uh, my aunt and uh, uncle, that used to be their dog's name. Suki? Yeah. T-S-U-K-I? Uh, I think it was just S-U-K-I. It might have had the T on it. I don't know. It was an obnoxious little thing. <laughs> uh, no, this it looks like a, um, a Shiba. Shiba Inu. Oh, Hokkaido. Hokkaido? Keijo. No. Isn't tight. <laughs> She's judging me. Listen, it's in the name of charity. It was done for a very good reason. Yeah, charity. Um, uh, uh, Miss, uh, Mrs. Yiki, yeah. he uh, definitely Hokkaido. does not wear it on the weekends. Is definitely on stream do for not, charity. Do not spread rumors, I'm sir. I'm not. I'm not spreading rumors. <laughs> Rolling her eyes. <laughs> she knows. She knows I'm not spreading rumors. She knows this sounds about right. The things we do for charity around here. Mm -hmm. At least, uh, at least Yuki wasn't wearing a beaver costume. Not this time. Although that, yeah, that is a potential option in the future. Uh... All right, you said uh, Lux Vendor. What do we got? We have the Clockwork Altar Devotional. Actually, this looks kind of. Oh, I've got, I've got several. Of these <laughs> you in. know, I have a picture of you too. Uh, it is in our Discord uh, because those uh, emotes technically break terms of service, and I don't want my emote capabilities taken away. Ah, uh, the calibration uh, so guides. So that's why I haven't uploaded nines as an emote. But. Sisterhood of the Traveling Beaver onesie. We're gonna send it to nine. Uh, send it to Yiki. Yep. Clockwork <laughs> lens assembly. Nice. Classic brought back. Ooh, Perfect. here we go. The Clockwork Planter. Ah, uh, they brought back. I like this one. 
the <laughs> sextant. You're such a child. <laughs> sextant. Uh, then we have the clockwork stairway spiral. What? Yup. If this is the item that <laughs> Lucy was talking about, yup. How many of these can I oh, buy? Oh, that's really nice. Buy five of them. Oh, worth it. Uh, also, don't forget, we are streaming live over on YouTube, so please give us a little thumbs up over on the video. Uh, help YouTube like us more. Be appreciated. Yeah. We're at the mercy of the algorithm, because uh, I will say, we are uh, on our, our mission close. to 3,000 watch hours, we are currently at 1,798, so we're basically at 1,800. We are getting closer and closer and closer. So please, if you guys can, um, come hang out with us over on YouTube, watch yeah. some videos, give us some thumbses, upses. Yep, sub, all that fun stuff. This is Foxton! Like 300, but 3,000 watch hours. You, like going between those buildings, all you did was crash into the walls. If you were IRL, your face would be beaten in. <laughs> Yeah. Your face would be beat severely. Beat up from the feet up. I got it. I got it. This power is over 3,000. So, yeah. So, like I said, we are on a mission to uh, hit that that three, ideally 4,000 watch hours. That'd be a big deal. So, yeah, 4,000 4, is definitely going to help, but we will take everything, all the <laughs> love that you can offer. 4,000 and 1,000 subs allows us to monetize the ads. It gives us ad revenue over there, which would be massive for us. So, Which means with more revenue means more giveaway. Yay! Uh, also, I know I put it on Twitter. I know some of you guys aren't on Twitter, but we want to hear from you guys on what kind of companies you would like to see giveaways from for uh saint jude so we want to know again you know we're we're gonna reach out to companies see if they're willing to donate prizes and things what do you guys want to see because obviously you know we, we give you a lot of the stuff you know to do with like eso like some codes you know and and uh you know some fox and merch and stuff like that but we really want to push the boundaries this year right so what what prizes <coughs> Can we go out and try and get what companies, what kind of stuff do you, you know, obviously, you know, we can go to, you know, like Corsair and see if they, you know, can help us out. You know, we have some connections there, but what else, what else do you guys want beyond that um, would be a super huge help for us. Um, a Bugatti. Great. Uh, I will not write that one down because no. Uh <laughs> But like I said, you know, what kind of things, uh, realistic things, uh, things in my budget. You all right there, Nine? Uh, <laughs> would, would you be interested in, you know, gift cards. Gift cards are a great option. What kind of stores? Do you guys want food? Do you guys, you know, what, what do you want? It would, Matthias. It would. Uh, uh, potentially. I think there's some rules about being, like, clicked into it or something. I have to, like, look. Um, do, uh, let's see. What counts for watch hours on YouTube? Uh, Nine ways to reach 4,000 watch hours. Buy them. <laughs> that's that's always everybody's. Uh... Uh, either Sephora or Amazon when we tell them we can't do Sephora. <laughs> also, not an option. Uh, increase engagement with pattern interrupters. Pattern Use interrupters? in your video. Skip the basic outro. All right, but this doesn't uh, tell me what counts or views. Like, I know. Like, if I just leave my computer running and have, like, our playlist on loop, like... Is, so... Because I'll do it. Do, 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 do. 
I feel so I feel like that videos would be flagged, that though. aren't eligible are videos that are set to private or unlisted, which we're good there. Um, videos you've deleted. Yep, I don't do that. Advertising campaigns. <laughs> um. Hmm. YouTube Shorts, which again, that's a different way. Categories. Uh, unconverted live streams. Uh. Okay, so we all of ours turn to video on demand content, so that's fine. So you could watch our our live streams. Um. Yep. Go back and rewatch all our live streams. Yeah, because those are like I said, lengthy videos essentially. Um. So, yes, Magnesium, um, but what you do is you end up categorizing them as you see fit and then basically highlighting certain ones, right? So you're not just like, yes, there's going to be like a master list of sorts, but ultimately you're going to <laughs> be like, oh, cool. These are all our ESO ones. These are all our ad ones. These are all our... You know what? You know, Dying Light, Final Fantasy, whatever game it may be, right? So that's more so how they get categorized, and then you have a playlist that is significantly smaller because you take out everything for just what you're looking for. Watch. Yeah, I, don't, I guess maybe there's no specific. Um, so I, I can show mine. Those layers. So yeah, watch hours only count after the stream is over for the live stream. Yep. Oh shoot, let me go back. Sorry. So like, okay, cool, right? So here's our YouTube channel, right? I can show this because it's mine. I don't care. Uh, so obviously we're live right now, cool. But like you go to our videos, for example, we have we have them broken down. Like we have like all these are these are all our videos, yada yada. But you can break them down into latest, popular, oldest, and then so we break them down. So to accumulate further. watch to accumulate watch hours, videos need to actively viewers need to actively engage with the video by keeping it in the foreground, watching it, and interacting with the content. Leaving the video to play in the background or on a different tab without actively watching it does not contribute to the watch time. Uh, it's designed to detect and filter out any fraudulent or artificial engagement. So trying to artificially inflate watch hours through such methods is not a recommended strategy. Instead, focus on creating compelling and engaging content. Blah, blah, blah. All right, Dark. Have a good one. Good night, Dark. <clears throat> um, yes, it does, Magnesium. Right. It does. So... I think they're asking is like, how do you prevent that from just becoming a mass congealed list? And how do you, or is there a way uh, to sort it out? You would have to, I think, manually create your own playlist and just ignore the liked playlist. Mm. I don't know if there's a setting or not where you can say like, hey, don't do that. George said it counts. Good. Got it. The, the playlist, yeah. But again, you have to apparently have the video in the foreground and actively be engaging with it. Well, to find actively be engaging with it. Like, if you... I, they don't really, really specify because they don't want you to... <laughs> like I said, if you if you put it in the foreground and you uh, go to, you know, turn sleep mode one off... One should understand that YouTube reviews and analyzes the video contents and check how it reached the watch hours list on the video before letting it for monetization. Once YouTube finds it suspicious or unusual, it'll flag the video as spam and they may delete it. Mm. Uh, so you do not want to watch or play the video for such long time to get 4,000 watch hours. Even if you reach to that, you'll not be able to use it for monetization. Also might not exist due to YouTube verification analyzation procedures. So. And clap while watching. Got it. I mean, honestly, Sarah, I'm not gonna lie. I thought y'all were doing that for our videos anyway. Like, I I thought like when when you play videos, like our videos back, everyone's sitting there. God damn it, nine again. That's so good, nine. That's so good. I imagine this is what's happening it's in my brain that you're all sitting there doing for me because you love me. Yeah, I'm sure magnesium. If people probably have like, especially the people who are on YouTube a lot, probably have massive lists. Out. 
So, so, Matthias, less about. Uh, Have fun, guys. Actual, like, love so not, you. not that we don't lo- love the actual ideas too, um, but we're also a little more concerned, like people we can reach out to, right? Like you said, food, right? Food, great. That's well, but again, that's, that's the that's still helpful. It, it is. I'm not saying it's not. That's what I'm saying is uh, we're also looking for like cool. What about food? Do you have like, you know, oh, there's this great like cool DoorDash, mom, McDonald's, right? There's like... this mom and pop down the street from me that I really love. I'm like, cool, great. Are they anywhere else? No, just down the street. Great, cool, awesome. North Dakota, here we come, right? They're not going to give me, they're not going to give us like, hey, yo, can we get a gift card for your location? But if you were to say, oh, hey, I love coffee, great, cool, awesome, go with that. What kind of, where do you Starbucks, Dunkin'. Yeah, right, like stuff like that also helps. So I said both are super helpful. I'm I'm not trying to be dismissive on on the first part of it. I just want to specify and expand upon that we're also looking for like, you know, ideas on on actual brands. Hello, brands. Speaking of brands, <laughs> someone say Starbucks. I love my Starbucks. Uh, yes, we are. We have... <laughs> As you can see, uh, I get a lot of Starbucks gift cards from people because uh, they know how to love me. And nine screws up. For the record, chat. For the record, I want to. I want to point this out. Nine. Nine did a screw up uh, for for the for Christmas. No, 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 Matthias. You weren't being basic. I was just um, explaining that. Yes, that that's half of what we're looking for. That's half of what we're looking for. Uh, we also would yeah. love. Do you guys want like Domino's gift cards? Right. Like for. Do you want like a pizza night from Domino's? Mm-hmm. That's like that's a cool thing. You know, like. 30 bucks for Domino's gets you a whole pizza night. Yep. So little things like that as well. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, back to nine being stupid. So nine tails. Well, I'm going to test something out on my computer. It's going to bork my my part of the stream. I already know. Okay. Bear with me. Bearing with you. <laughs> I'm uh, destroying my CPU. Give me a second. Fair enough. So for, for Christmas, nine tails went out and got the uh, little fox and the misses a whole bunch of stocking stuffers uh and included uh within those stocking stuffers were starbucks gift cards because the two of them enjoy starbucks so i went and got them starbucks gift cards now i went to target to get said starbucks gift card because i know they sell them there and I grab a $10 gift card for the little fox. And I grab a $25 gift card for the missus. Uh, and I grab a few other things while I'm there. And then I proceed to go to checkout. And when I am at checkout, I'm swoop, swoop, swoop. And the, the cashier is like, great. That'll be, you know, like, 78 bucks and change i'm like excuse the f out of me what now no 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 what are these pants li- uh, threaded with gold they're for a three-year-old no it's not that expensive he's uh he's looking it's like oh yeah no you got 65 dollars in starbucks gift cards i'm like what do you mean it's a 10 and a 25 that's i'm bad at math but that's only 35 dollars and i proceed to look at the gift cards and it is four ten dollar gift cards is four ten dollar gift cards for forty dollars forty plus twenty five is in fact sixty five dollars for those who were unaware like i was and nine tails proceeded to walk out with all of it not because (laughs) nine was oh no i meant to do that huh? i'm super embarrassed no 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 because nine tails was frustrated that he did so, something so stupid and didn't want to get out of line during the holiday rush hours to get back in line so he just said f it and bought and took all 65 dollars in starbucks gift cards home with him and then nine tails proceeded to put it in his little hidey hole 
until it time that it was needed to get put into a uh, stocking. No, they were not used. Um, and then nine with his goldfish brain proceeded to forget where he put all of the misses stocking stuffers to include said Dunk's gift card or uh, Starbucks gift cards until at what time he was downstairs and the missus was helping him fix his computer because he is dumb and he went to check on his little hobby uh, hidey hole for one reason or another because ADHD brain and he's like Oh my god. Guess what I just found like an idiot. I knew I had more for you, Mrs. I am so sorry. They're not wrapped. Here it is. The rest of your stocking that I hidey hold away and completely forgot about. It was such a great hiding spot. It was more than just the the Starbucks gift cards though. It makes you all feel better. <laughs> Magnesium, I bought a bunch. I love stockings. I think they're the most fun of anything. Um, I bought the missus some nice warm socks. I bought her some Starbucks gift cards. Uh, I this bought her he got me. a beaver because I know how much she loves them. Getting them, fighting them later. I feel like that's just it being in a relationship. I feel like that happens like every time. I bought more. Well, I had to show her. It's like, no, because I forgot about it. Magnesium. Like, Christmas came and went, and I'm like, huh. I feel like I, I feel like I'm forgetting something. I feel like her stocking had more. Maybe I just missed it. Maybe she opened it. I just missed it, right? That's that's what my brain said I did. It's like, oh, I just missed it. Matthias, we have a tile. One of those those beeping tiles on the keys. Not that I've ever needed it for mine. Good Hi, night, Brian. Uh, did you like see my message and just not care? Because now that it's an hour later. Oh, oh yeah, we can do that. Figured ten to eleven, but you do uh, eleven thirty and then. Half hour draws. That's fine. Nine's been ignoring the fact that I was trying to give you guys stuff. I'm sorry on his behalf. Um, I am not sorry on his behalf. All right, let me log out of this game. I don't need it anymore. My brother said that my CPU is uh, at near max clock and running at max utilization. He's like, it's time. Like, no, <laughs> no, don't tell me that. But yeah, no, um, stuff and things and stuff. Things and stuff, stuff and things. Uh, I'll take you. All right. What chipset is your motherboard running? Cheetos. 
Uh, the cool ranch one specifically. Ranch? Um. Honestly, Matthias, it's a great question. Um. Oh yeah, I opened up a giveaway too for those who are curious. Let me see. I don't usually tell people when I open up giveaways. I just do it and see who's paying attention still. Because if I say it out loud, usually y'all have me like running in the background. They're like, oh, yeah, I'm awake now. Back to turn that rear stream on again. Like, I want you to want, be interacting with me the whole time. I love you all. I'm bored. I'm lonely. <laughs> There's your problem. You need to run nacho cheese. Everybody runs nacho cheese, though. Nacho uh, cheese is pretty I good. see where I bought my motherboard. Um, mm -hmm. For those of you who know me, uh, you know uh allegedly that i know how to cook uh that may or may not be false but the point is that i tell you that i know how to cook and i tell I you that a uh 470 aorus amd ryzen am4 dash what i got kappa golden kappa so <laughs> so yeah so um But yeah, so, but every so often, um, I get lazy and, right, Dark? Oh, thank you. Uh, I get lazy and I will do, I will make, like, Hamburger Helper, right? I'll make Hamburger Helper. And so, I had made Hamburger Helper the other night, and while I was making Hamburger Helper, I discovered in my spice cabinet, my... Uh, glorious spice cabinet that there was uh, a popcorn topping for nacho cheese not mine not yours nacho cheese uh, definitely someone else's anyway and so since the missus likes the uh, uh, the cheese hamburger helper i decided to if you will cook the classification book oh what now a mushroom classification know, book oh be able to describe um since the missus likes the i'm gonna throw that out cheddar better than the mushroom stamp a little bit um, although that was wonderful and they should not have changed that right uh, I decided when I cooked the hamburger in said hamburger helper that, thank you, Matthias, I would put this nacho cheese. That should be ending tomorrow, hopefully. Nacho cheese? No, the the Pokemon game, it says before March 30th, oh, yeah. so it hopefully will end. Yeah, when we get back to streaming. Um, and I don't know if she knows the difference. I did. It was very cheesy, very cheesy cheese blend on the uh because i know you all love this word so much i'm gonna keep saying it additionally uh all the popcorn that we ordered for the kiddo or from the kiddo uh should be coming in soon yes so <laughs> i know we are excited because i got a salty sweet uh popcorn and i am excited for it even though popcorn is empty calories. Popcorn. <laughs> I am fully aware that popcorn is empty calories, but I enjoy it anyway. I shouldn't say empty calories. It's technically not empty calories. Otherwise, what? For the rest of y'all, what is your flavor of choice? Since you, if you have to eat it. What is your flavor of choice? That's what I want to know. That's what I'm curious of. As I said, I got a, like, a caramel cheese combo. Kettle corn. 
catch him. Stop talking to my brother. The uh, kettle kettle is delicious. Like don't get me wrong, kettle. I think kettle corn's gross. Don't 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 make my popcorn sweet. Stop no, it. Her. Spicy dill. When we say spicy, are we talking like Cajun or are we talking just like oh hey it's like ooh that's get a little tickle to it. What sort of spice are we talking here? Oh boy. Uh, also, if you guys did not catch the article for daily login rewards, um, days 1, 6, 8, 13, 15, and 20, you guys will get Seals of Endeavor totaling 450. Thousand. No. Oh, just 450. Okay. 450. Um, on day seven, you will get the Debella's Sweet Roll Stack Memento. Um, it summons a stack of snacks and ensures you can always sweet. Uh, Irene's Fledgling Griffin Pet on day 14. It's kind of cute. But it's Irene. Uh, it's basically so... a black and gold, black and gold griffin. Uh. Chili peppers mixed in your... Mixed in your pickles, hot stuff. None of this is Cajun. <laughs> oh, chili. Pe oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Same CB that is in. Run yours. It's two hundred. Hmm. So I'm asking my brother right now if. What what a new PC is gonna look like. Period. Probably shiny, maybe a little blue, depending on what colors you add to it. I just, as I said, I, I can't, I, we can't run like this. No, we can't. So, um, he's going to build a few out on, on PC part picker. And then when we get there tomorrow, he's going to go over them with us. Mm. But I said, so, the problem is I don't, just don't have money for it. No, I mean, we could ask Raythorn. What he thinks, but I said he's he's gonna build the same the same stuff. Get one of those Corsair thousand dollar books. Mm. Pretty good deal. Oh, I do like those. What CPU do you have now? I sent you that screenshot, you knucklehead. I'm gonna send him a screenshot of the screenshot. Pepper's even. Cheaper fix? Yeah. Echoing going on in the distance. Yeah, Matthias. No, no, as I said, it is the cheaper fix, and I might have to go that route. Um. Oh, wild Lapras appeared. Heck yeah. So. I know. I know. What's the, but it's what's just, the water it's, ball? It's, my, my fear is that if we don't... If I fix one thing, I'm afraid something else is going to go. And I don't want... I know sometimes there's a chain reaction. And if I buy like a new, you know, a new CPU, but my motherboard fries, it has now a danger of frying my freaking shit on the board. And like, I, I'm just... I'm stressed out. I'm stressed out. You don't own those balls, nine. I don't. That's very sad. I am just, I'm just, because uh, like I said, everything is starting to go. Because it's an older PC. We built this a pretty long time ago in, in the world of computer parts. And it is not the year. I need one more year out of this. I just need one more yeah. freaking year. Getting there, getting there. I'm just, I'm just so aggravated. So if I said we had Nine's monitor go, we have so much. Uh, but 
This is, uh, this is the year they all wrote about. Anyway, Collector catching it. What? I got. You get no Lapras because you didn't have Ultra Balls. I know. Collector only is a great ball. There's that confusing scrying again. It can be a little tough, Magnesium, but once you, once you figure it out, it's usually pretty good. As I said, we have the video on YouTube, a little tutorial on how to do it. Uh, the problem is then I do have to get new RAM because if I'm going to get the updated motherboard, I have DDR4 right now. I'm going to have to get the fives so and that I have to do. Because um, that's what my brother said. There's basically two options is he said I can get this the, a new CPU, but it doesn't fr future proof anything. I'm going to have to end up buying it again when I inevitably have to upgrade. He said, otherwise, you know, I could do a new motherboard and RAM. He said the first option, you know, the, the, the new motherboard and RAM is superior. I don't know if, um, I don't know if they ordered those other things for us. Nine. Uh, it's 50-50. Even even then, we wouldn't know until we get. Uh, oh, I'm gonna ask. Ba -ba 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 -ba. A netball, that's what it is. A netball, that's what it is. <sighs> God, nine. No, I know. I, I just have like so much money, it's not even like. Not even worth like worrying about. You also have a minute to put your troops out of battle. Hey, Sean LaRock, how are you? Are you excited, Sean? We are going to be super excited. <laughs> I hope you are excited. Less than a week. Woohoo! Uh, we also, uh, with Payne and Hawkeye, we booked a uh, cheese and wine uh, excursion. You're welcome to come. Yo. <laughs> You're nervous? Don't be nervous! It's gonna be so good! Um... Just think of all the awesome things there. All the awesome things you can do. Oh. Do them all! Chat, you've got time to get in on this giveaway. We are giving away ESO codes because reasons. As we may see you one more time before the big event. Oh yeah, no, it's been, it's only been three and a half hours. Um, what? I don't think anyone noticed your headset until now. Oh. Ah, you like it? You like it? Um, so this is, uh, for those not familiar, this is the Virtuoso. Um, it is fantastic. Um, it took a hot second um, to you know, yeah. get used to it because it does have um, the leather ear cuffs. It does. Um, and it, it doesn't have the, the head strap anymore. It's just the really, really cushiony uh, headband. Um, but I am not going to lie. It's, it's really growing on me. When I say growing on me, it's not that I hate it. It's just, it's different. Um, I struggle with different sometimes, um, but it's really, really awesome. Uh, it can, it can be wired um, and wireless. 
Uh, it has the, the aux cord. It does have a mic that does connect, so the mic is completely removable. Um, but we are going to be doing some really fun content uh, in the next couple of weeks uh, with some stuff featuring these. Uh, Nine has the virtuosos as well now. Um, his The profile is very, very similar to what he had, so it may not have been a big notice. Um, but I'm, I'm digging these. I'm digging these. Um, they're really cool. They're definitely really awesome. So, um, they're a little lighter, mm. uh, than my HS 80s. But like I said, I think there's things I love about my HS 80s more than these. And there's things I love about these more than the HS 80s. So I think it really comes down to depending on what you want. These definitely have a much more superior sound quality if sound is really important to you. So oh, again, they do. like, you know, um, what? But, oh, yeah, they do. Yeah, so like you can really, really customize your sound. So like I said, if you're into music and things like that and really trying, you know, like like Payne, for example, who, who DJs and really needs to hear the sounds and everything, this would be a great set for that, right? HS80 sound is phenomenal. And like I said, they're great. You know, that's that surround sound sound for, you know, gaming and all of that stuff. So um, I guess they're both such great headsets, but there's just it's such different things about each that that really hit different things that are important. So I think, you know, it really comes down to what you actually enjoy. So um, your your kind of main focus. Yeah, the HS80s are really awesome. I'm a big fan. Um, as I said, these get are a little lighter for me, which is nice. Um, these will definitely travel better for me. Um, and, uh, you know, we, uh, we're excited to do uh, a little bit of content, a little bit of content with them. Mm. So, um, we are also trying out as well, at least I have, boom, this guy. Uh, this is, uh, the M75 Air. I... So, I was previously using the Iron Claw, uh, which, again, is a much wider mouse overall. It's, uh, a little bit heavier. This is super lightweight, which is really awesome. Um, slipstream wireless, all of that really good stuff. It's definitely a thinner profile um, overall for the hands. Again, you know, the, the Iron Claw is a little wider. Uh, it has a, some fewer buttons on it, which for me isn't a problem because I don't really use a lot of the buttons. Definitely a sleeker profile. Um, the click rates on these can be adjusted to like superior clicking. So if again, if that's something that's super important, like competitive gameplay, uh, it's a huge, huge, huge kind of tide turner there. So um, this is this has been absolutely phenomenal, and I'm really, really enjoying this. Um, again, it's it's getting used to it because I was, you know, had such a, a wide, wide grip on this one, as opposed to again a much narrower grip on this. So it's just different for me right now. So, um, but super pumped, super pumped. Hello, Nee. How are you? Yes, please, please get in on the giveaway. Uh, we are doing ESO code of your choice. We're pulling in like fifteen minutes. Um, but uh, also, um, please, please, please. Uh, the questions haven't changed. Uh, if you guys do win a code, please let me know the region platform. Um, don't just start picking codes because I may not have them. Uh, especially at the end of a quarter. <laughs> so uh, there's also some codes that we don't necessarily give away at every time. So um, please make sure when you guys are uh, uh, shooting me a DM, just uh, let me know region platform and I'll let you know what the options are. Mm -hmm. and, and understand that we get off stream at like midnight and we have a three-year-old. We get to bed like one, two in the morning. Sometimes it takes me a couple of days. Yeah, so bear just kind of bear with us. Bear with us. Um, we promise we have not forgotten. It is annotated in many in many locations. Yeah. Yeah. If I if I like forget about you for like a week or two, like by all means, feel free to remind yeah. me. But 
<laughs> that the, give me uh, give me a couple of days. Give me a couple of days, guys. Yeah, the on the only time is when it's like time sensitive. Like Jester stuff is like leaving X Y Z. Like I need to make sure I get it out right. But otherwise, yeah, get it on the giveaway. We're gonna end up uh, doing stuff, stuff and things. Stuff and things. Yeah, as I said, we'll have, uh, I think for all region platforms, I have uh, Necrom and uh, Crowns. I should have them for all region platforms. So that's what we're giving away. Necrom or Crowns. 1,500 Crowns. Can't go wrong with Crowns. Mm -hmm. And we're uh, we're going to do a second uh, code tonight as well. So. Because we can. We'll do two, two giveaways. Uh, also, make sure you guys follow us over on the Twitters because we are going to be doing uh, some Twitter giveaways while we are gone. As we always do, for your enjoyment. All right, hold on. Hold on. Let me, let me see what he's saying. True. Uh, only issue... Your motherboard isn't completely rated for it. You would need to do a BIOS update and then your CPU wouldn't clock up to four like it should because a power delivery for a 5000 series chip is higher, but I can look into it. Well, it's way more expensive to do a bigger upgrade just for CPU motherboard because a decent CPU has no cooler with it. CPU is a 12 core, 24 thread CPU, which is beefier than what you have by a lot. Yeah, it is. <laughs> what about a graphics card? Can we just do a graphics card instead? Like, that has nothing to do with what's going on, Ninetales. I'm just trying to think of things. <laughs> this is about my CP. I know. I, I'm just trying to find cheaper things. A graphics card is the most expensive thing you'd have to buy. Is it though? Yeah, those cost like six, seven hundred dollars, sir. <laughs> Hello, fairy. How are you? Cause so he's basically put a CPU, a CPU cooler, motherboard memory. Cheaper to replace the motherboard and CPU. I did that this summer. And then to replace the graphics. Card. Yeah, my my graphics card is like what a twenty six hundred, so it's older. It still does just fine. Fair my or not. issue again is my my CPU right now. My CPU is a shitstorm. Fairy coming in and winning that one. Look at that. See, look at you, Fairy. But Say again, hi. the Ryzen nine seventy nine hundred is going to cost me $383. I'm going to get another one running. Don't worry. Don't worry. I gotta let it uh, let it un un correct itself. Yeah, yeah, here I saw that. I'm just wait. I'm waiting on Stream Raiders to like fix itself. <laughs> we appreciate you hanging out with Stream Raiders, Barry. What's it doing? Not loading in. Oh. We are gonna run another battle, so <laughs> hang tight, like, guys. It's, hang it's tight. a it's a loyalty scroll. It just means like you're getting more out of it. But it's not loading it. I'm like, I need you to load things. It's afraid of that. Uh, it's... Come on, stream raiders. Come on, you can do it. Even you. I 
I believe. Is it, did you have to like restart the whole thing or? Not that anyone can see it, it's fine. <laughs> it's not even on your screen, nobody knows what you're doing, but. I, need to, I just need to fix itself. Like, I just need you to not be the way that you Boosh. Kadoosh. What? Reaction. I am super excited that my son is super excited for Easter this weekend. I Oh, uh, so we uh, saved up a little money for his birthday. And uh, we are getting him his first big boy bike. Yup. His first big boy bike. Yeah, so uh, it's not the color we wanted, but it was cheaper to get the red one. <laughs> so he's gonna have a red one. Imagine a Batman bike. It's a it's just a, a regular Huffy. It's a it's like red and black. Hey, boy, that a Huffy? This it is. It <laughs> Imagine a Batman bike. Uh, we looked at it was they had like dinosaur bikes. They had, you know, like Spider-Man. But the problem was they were smaller. So we were looking at the 12 inch originally and they're like, oh, max height is like 42. And we're like, he is 42. So he's already into like the 14. So if we were going back and forth between 14 and 16. And he's at like kind of the bottom end of a, of a 16. Like kind of that minimum, so I was just like, "Oh, all right." So we ended up going with the 16 inch, but the 16 inch bikes are a little bit older, so they don't really have a lot of the, you know, fun characters. Plus, you're paying the licensing fee, so it's like triple the cost. And I'm like, "Uh, I'm like, I don't have two hundred dollars to spend on a bike. It's just not feasible at all, whatsoever." Um, so yeah, so but like I said, yeah, we could yeah. swap out accessories and and help them, you know, with some fun things. So. Not that he's gonna know or care. He's gonna be super excited to just have one and be like, let's go riding. I'm like, yeah. Schwinn. I remember I I always had like a mountain bike or some you know, semblance of a mountain bike, right? You know what they were. You know, that was the style back in the day. Like he didn't really have like a road bike. Except when I was like 13 14 and then chat you want to guess what i had when i was 13 14 i went out and i'm like this is the bike i want this is what i really want chat that was that guy a mongoose yep that's right <laughs> i remember those. that's right i don't all come clamoring into my bed at once yes i had a mongoose <laughs> matt matt did the mongoose I bet he did. We we did. Oh, the, you did the bike. Your bike, yeah, yeah. We did like the the Schwinn. We did. We had some Schwins and um, some Huffies and stuff. I think. Like, we we're trying mm. to bike on a gravel road. Oof. <laughs> I didn't do gravel road. I did. Uh, we'd get like a running start because we uh, like basically uh, walk up to the top of the bulkhead and we like ride it down and then you'd have to keep <laughs> pedaling. And then once we got <laughs> once we got decent enough at pedaling. Uh, we'd go to the school and go and uh, learn to ride on the uh, blacktop. We'd hop in the back of my dad's bed, uh, the bed of my dad's truck, uh, and we'd go to the school and, and be on the blacktop. So you can imagine what falling on a blacktop feels like in the middle of the summer. 
It cauterized your wounds for you. What I'm saying, it cauterized your wounds for you. <laughs> actually, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, funny story. It actually, it's the point. It actually did kind of um, cauterize one of my wounds. I gotten, uh, I had fallen on the the uh, the asphalt one time. I got a pretty you know nasty gash, and um, I was I was picking at it at school because I'm like this feels weird and all that. And actually, a piece of the asphalt had actually like gotten like healed under my skin. Cause it got like got into the wound, like when I fell. And this was the '90s, so you're just like, eh, brush it off, you're fine, keep riding. And it healed, and I'm sitting there like picking at it, and there's like, oh, that's part of the that's part of the asphalt in my arm. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> Hi, Lady Riot, how you doing? Hey, how's it going? Hold on. I uh. My my dad got frustrated teaching me how to ride a bike. I did not learn from my dad. I learned from my aunt. Uh, she had to come over. Technically, she was my cousin, but uh, she had come over to kind of hang out with us while my dad was roofing when I was too little to roof. I got to roof with him the second time. But um, she taught me how to ride uh, on two wheels because my dad was like, he just like threw my bike in the garage one day and he's like, I'm done. <laughs> You're tired. Oh, I feel that. I feel that. So, uh, Hi. but, but yeah, that was, that was My riding a bike in the nineties. And like I said, when I say we threw it in the bed of my dad's truck, I mean the bikes and ourselves went into the bed of the truck uh, to <laughs> ride down to the school. That's that's kind of what I meant. I just, in case that wasn't clear, I know I said the 90s, so I figured it was like self-explanatory, but for those who thought that there was any semblance of safety in the 90s, there wasn't. A little tired? Yeah, no worries. Tired's okay. I was just I was just busting uh, chops earlier when I said y'all are only wake up for giveaways. Skadoosh. Learning to ride on a flat surface or by accident on a sloped. Oh, metal pedals were Shin's worst enemy, right? Uh, for the they people were. that. Like metal uh, pedals? Yeah. That did the like baseball cards in the uh, the spokes. You mean, you mean the uh, the badass muffler? Yeah. <laughs> you clip it on. Well, there was always that asshole kid that had yeah the spiky metal pedals like that had the you know from uh, if anybody's ever seen the movie Grease where you know on the hubcaps they had the like the knives that stuck out. There was always one asshole kid that had those. A skip it. Oh, no, no. Razor scooters. Mm, those were pretty bad, too. Skip Razor were bad. scooters were Shin's worst nightmare. Skip it. I could I could walk that off. That's just plastic. A metal Razor scooter to the hey, shin. Walk it off. It was basically, it was basically a flail. <laughs> it's base Ever notice that the toys that we grew up with, for those who were, grew up in the 90s, uh, the toys we grew up with are basically just modified, you know, archaic weaponry. Oh, a skip it was oh. just a flail around your ankle. A a razor scooter was basically uh, a sword that you just like whoosh, you just twirled around and smashed your feet with, right? Like those spikes on the, uh, you know, those the spikes, you Your know, ankle busters <laughs> on the uh, pedals. Those were basically just malls, uh, but, you know, 
on your bicycle. Like you slip up, you're like, Poosh, God, it just like rips and rakes up like half of your shin. Yep. Yep. I didn't need hair there ever. Oh, yeah, devil sticks. Oh, I love devil sticks. Malady, the sliver of metal in the leg, I think trumps the, uh, the gravel. I don't know. Uh, extra reflectors to my wheels with, like fine laying around so the entire back wheel is covered in sparkles. Uh, I had the little tiny clips, the little clips, they were, like little flowers and like little cute little girly things that I put on, on mine. Um, but yeah, no, my, my cousin had the devil sticks. Matt, Matt did, uh, had devil sticks. I believe he had it. gotten them from Disney. Uh, any therapist in chat want to explain why I get hyper focused to play one game and only that game for like two weeks and then move on to another one for a few weeks and another one, but never finish any of them? Not ADHD. I feel like I feel like that's an ADHD thing because nine does that. The spoke beads. Yep. 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 Hyper fixation. Cold steamitis. <laughs> Karma. <sighs> my legs are in so much pain. I had I'm trying to like rub my legs. I get when when my legs relax, um they are super painful. Oh god, they're awful right now. Um they get super, super painful and they twitch uncontrollably. Wait, Twitch? Pure ADHD, and I know that, but I just feel so left out. Why do you feel left out? Everybody's got ADHD. You shouldn't feel left out. <laughs> oh, my God. My poor legs. So they've been really weird. I was watching when she on YouTube, and she doesn't have the whole thumbs up or thumbs down thing like you guys do on YouTube. Oh, that's weird, Ogre. I don't know why. Welcome back. I can't uh, complete a single one. Sounds like me. <laughs> uh, did you see this uh, one? I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Oh, Who's excited for Gold Road? Who's excited to learn more about scribing? Only one I finished was Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. I don't play many like single player games that have like an end to them. If that's weird or not, I don't know. Um, but dude, I am so glad I don't fly United. Oh gosh. Because another inch, six people went to the hospital because of high winds on a United flight. Listen, United's you're, cursed. You're, Don't fly. You're in the air. Of course, there are high winds. <laughs> you're in the sky going you're, like 30,000 miles an hour. <laughs> yeah, there's going to be high winds. And I, I, I assume that's what planes are rated for is high winds. Is literally high winds. Both it's the only game from... you platinumed. Oh. <sighs> I dabbled, like I said, I dabbled in Starfield a little bit, um, mostly because, like I said, we made content for it, so that's why I played it. Um, otherwise, like I said, I really, 9-9 nine, nine will get the games. We really don't have the money to buy two. BG3, I just haven't had time. I've been trying to get through it, but I just haven't had the time. Um, but, like, there's, like... Like, can, you really can't ever finish ESO, right? Like, yeah, I did the main story quest, but, like, you, it's not a game you finish, so I can't say I finished it. Played it for ten years, like, it's, it's you know. Um, but I All really, right. yeah, I really don't have anything that I've played or play that, you know. I, my, my issue is time. I just don't have to, everything on my plate, I don't have time for myself. It doesn't exist. The limit does not exist. 
All right, uh, let me pull this giveaway so we can do the next one. I thought that said kink escape escaped. I didn't see the L there for a minute. Clink. I I, I mean, it so, said sometimes kink. you let your kink escape and you, it just terrorizes some people. Some people are into it, on the other hand. <laughs> Never in. <laughs> All right. Three, two, one. Boom! Uh, Malady! Malady! Malady, are you still are here? Are you still here? God, we you take my line nine? I Yay. will. Be oh, there they are. Never mind. All right, Mally, you are going to DM on the black me market. Uh, and let me know what your platform and region is. Or, or honestly, uh, regardless of what your platform region is, you still need to let me know. Uh, but let me know if you want Necrom or Crowns. Should be easy enough because I have them for everything right now. Necrom or Crowns, shoot me a DM. We'll, uh, we'll get you what you need. Yeah, definitely tell me your platform and region, though. That I do need. All right. <laughs> Um, so we're doing, so we're doing the same. I was so close. Uh, yeah. Do you guys want another code? I have another code. Let's do a code. I mean, we could do other stuff, but we figured a code well, is probably let's do a code. More you guys get a little more freedom with the codes. Sure. All right. Do I have anyone in here that does not already have Necrom? Oh, there's an ad. People probably can't hear me. Just the ones who need to. Uh, Lady Riot, uh, misses. Yeah, there's ads. I they're not going to hear you. Oh, Lady Riot will. <laughs> no. Oh. That's why they said ads. <laughs> uh -huh. You know what I don't speak. Oh my god. <sighs> Nine's why we can't have nice things. I wasn't even close again. Poor, poor me. <laughs> Kimber, you have to do that just before the bot pulls. That's when it matters. <laughs> Oh, yes. Ogre can hear us fine on YouTube. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. Um... Sorry, I'm just doing something real quick. I mean, you hear yourself last week. What? Fell asleep. I'm awake now. Good. I'm glad you're back, Lucid. <coughs> Where were you when I needed you, Lucid? Uh, you know, you. you know who was around, Mrs. Lucid my might not. My brother was around. Lucid might not have been around, but Nine was here. <laughs> Remember that. <laughs> Lucid murders me. Or you can enter the giveaway, then announce you're going to bed, then wait. Wait, what? Oh, yes, 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 yes. So I get what you're saying, Ogre. Yes, that does work. Uh, that's worked for Ogre. Uh, as you basically tell the bot you're going to bed, and then it picks you. Oh, no, no, Lucid. Yeah, no, we figured it out. <laughs> my brother uh, my brother is having a conversation with me. We're picking out... I'm looking to see what PC situation is. Oh! Yep, it's that good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, of what's available. So, so Lady Riot, yeah, basically what's going to happen is... Um, oh, it's a uh, uh, Necrom or 1,500 crowns. Yeah, once we figure out what platform and region, then we can let you know because we don't have everything. Ever. Look at my brother.
brother giving me a PC part picker with like all Corsair parts for the most part. <laughs> oh. My brother is a big Corsair fan. Except for his builds. Oh, this hurts my heart. Oh. Uh. It's that damn video card right now. Inflation's got me like. Uh. <laughs> damn inflation. Honestly, the the bulk of it, it's the that that video card. Like I said we it it's gone up significantly since we got yours. Like it's ridiculous. Uh. That is true, ogre. That is how you. Uh, that is how you won the hundred. Undo. So I put a better PSU on there. It's not modular. He likes modular. It's twenty bucks more, but it's worth it. GPU on there. Kit is unlabeled, but it looks like a PNY. Personally, if I was buying it separate, I would buy a Gigabyte or an Asus. Your kit's fairly priced. Uh, biscuits. SOS. So I had asked my brother to basically look at the kit that Corsair had, um, one of their their units, and he's basically with PC Part Picker putting together what they had in theirs. He said it's actually very fairly priced because they and like I said, they also throw in some other stuff as well. So <laughs> um, pancakes, pancakes. No oh, SOS. Wrong. What? Crazy. SOS. No. You get a pancakes any day. It takes effort and motivation to make an SOS. Yeah, no much more, There's more love. Oh, in, in Collectra, it. I love them. Oh, they're so cute. I feel like I'm missing out. They're crocheted peeps. Oh. Oh. They're so cute. Oh, hey. <laughs> I'm Alex. Oh, I'm Alexia. Hello. How are you? <laughs> Thank you, Malady. I'll send out uh, the, the code after, if that's okay. We'll get you, we'll get you the code. Um, if I can end stream on time. Nine. Nope. <laughs> Uh, but no, that's what I said. I was having my brother look at the the kits on Corsair to see, you know, how they kind of netted out. And he's like, they're they're very very on point with price. They're they're not like super over the top, unnecessary, expensive. He's like, they're basically, you know, it's like a fifty dollar difference. But um, equate fifty dollars to them boxing it all up and sending it to you. You know, it's it's the the, the convenience of them put, putting the build together. Which uh, is Mal, fair. it'll be for this uh, crowns or necrom. It'll be for crowns or necrom. The crowns too. In the stream, I get to see my favorite streamer and her two sidekicks. <laughs> Mara's always the star of the show. Forever will be the star of the show. The limit does not exist. Passed out. <laughs> she ate the Tritos and I missed it. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, honestly, we missed it too. We That's missed what, it too. That is why she's passed out. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> Hi, Mara. Willing to put money on it. Part of it. Part of the reason why she's passed out. Definitely, definitely mostly part of the reason why she's passed out. Maybe not they're the whole fun and fast crochet. They're super, yeah, they're super freaking cute. I love them. And Shimantai, remember, Chad, only you can prevent this start a hype train. No. Mm, that is no. true. Mrs. would love to go to bed on time. I have so much going on over the next like two weeks. Let me let me sleep when I can. I'm cleaning my room. Gotta figure out how to set a camera to face the Merit and Marlin perch. Yes. 
Usually, honestly, like for those looking to do them. like pet cams, you could honestly get one of like the fifteen dollar like no name cheap cams off of like Amazon. Yeah. And hook it up. Like it doesn't have to be anything super crazy fancy. Mara has like a fifteen dollar cam. Who does? She's like, like, like I'm the- very clear about that. She has I, I bought a, a super, super cheap one for her. Like I said we have it electrical taped to the desk leg. Yep. It is the most janky setup ever. <laughs> it's not that janky. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's that janky. It's janky. Oh. oh, okay. You already have them. Better than the one I the mount on it. The other one doesn't. Gotcha. Yeah, just just electrical tape. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, the electrical tape, electrical. you can jerry rig it to like be in whatever position you need to be in. Hey, right? just putting it out. Just throwing that out there. Like, who needs your camera? Like, you don't need your camera. Like on like a three hundred dollar mount for cats. No offense, I don't need it on a three hundred dollar mount for Mara Bear, and I like her. Need a longer cord. That's fair. That's what I said. Those are fortunately those are easy enough to to do. Can't run any more cams due to the lack of USB ports. Get a splitter. Do you do you have everything set for a slipstream, Matthias? Because also, you can condense what are you your doing USB usage uh by by using your slipstream additionally what are you doing that you need like 30 cameras that you don't have enough usb ports uh i'm out of usb ports i've still got like three that i don't touch let's tape the cat up where you need it mm. forget the phone accessories that's fair too <laughs> that is also very just tape fair tape the cat to the wall be perfect yeah. Uh, I would just they're gonna say, oh, they're gonna be angry and have. freaking out anyway, so nothing new. Like that's just a cat's personality. Like, oh the cat's freaking <laughs> out. Well it's because you haven't taped up. No, that's just a cat. That's just how they are. Like, I don't know why you think different. Oh, I love those peeps so much. Green one for your mama. Oh, they're so cute. They look so fluffy. We don't ask questions like this. Don't ask questions like that, you might get an answer. <laughs> All I'm saying is <laughs> I don't know why you need that many camp. Oh, collector, you don't have to do that. Like I'm sure you probably have enough stuff to make and everybody's always asking you. Please don't feel like you need to do that. They are just super cute. Yes, they're super cute. I'm just loving. I'm just loving on them. Yes. We do not tape the queen of the apartment up. She's usually up when I'm sleeping. <laughs> That's fair. But if you tape oh. a uh, blue, blue is my favorite yeah, color. Blue. Blue is my favorite color. <laughs> not saying she would like one, but yes, if she were to get one, blue would be it. Thirty cameras, huh? Either you're filming the next series of Big Brother, or you're going all jigsaw on us. Which one? I major. I like how I like how Ogre went immediately into like, you know, like murder and like you know infiltration. I was going with the adult filming. Yeah, that I know. Would that's have what been I was thinking go-to. of. Yeah, right. That's what I was thinking of. It's like you know, like oh, Matthias is now on OnlyFans. Weird. Right. <laughs> Says a lot about us. <laughs> what do you mean this command is disabled? Uh, excuse me. Uh, I'm not moderating you, you stupid robot, because you already... Once done, the bot will automatically update the latest version within an hour. All right, so let's let's update it. Let's, let's mod it. And then I'll unmod it later after it updates. I don't have permission... How about you bite me? I do have permission. I am the stream owner. Basically, we all need. 
What the hell? Hold hold on, on later. Hold on a second later. Right? Hold on. We're going to get you taken care of. We're going to get you taken care of. All right. So it's now modded. You should now be able to use. I'm sorry that your Clefable escaped. I apologize. Uh, but now it should. You should be able to purchase things. It sa Bullet says the bot will automatically update to the latest version within an hour and work as expected again. Well, we've got 10 minutes. So go. Poka. What is it? Poka shop? Yep, poker shop, and then we poke ball. Five. Five. All right, it says it's moderated. Okay, but here's the thing: it told... no, no, it's it it just it just moderated, and uh, Lady Riot was able to buy their per uh, their poker balls. So you did uh, you tried to purchase them literally seconds before it uh, 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 registered that it was moderated. Stupid bot. <laughs> I'm sending bills to you to compete with your brother, although I don't have any information regarding budget. My budget is poor, Lucid. I'm poor. <laughs> it gave me both a fail and a, right? That's what I mean, Lady Right. Like it gave you both. Like, what the hell? Talking about mixed signals much? <laughs> yep. Must know my wife. Um Let me get this Stream Raiders battle up and running. Oh, has anybody seen the Elgato face cam MK2 come out? Does anybody else want it as bad as I do? <laughs> Does anyone no, else? No, you haven't seen it. Oh, it looks so good. Does anyone else know that Jester's is going to be a short event because Jubilee starts next week? Because if you didn't know, that's because the missus hasn't started her announcements yet. Oh, hush. Boom. Sunrise Walker, Matthias, and Volum. No, oh, I appreciate that, Lucid. I appreciate that. Like I said, I... I, I don't even know what I, I am going to be able to do, to be completely honest. It's budget. Budget's out of control. It's really what it is. All right, Mrs. Everyone wants to know. Major on that five stream streak there. Uh, everyone wants to know what the heck is up with Jubilee. What the heck? Uh, right. Along with any other announcements you may or may not have. All right. Uh, providing, and again, reminding yourself of what time you want to get out of here. Um, Reminder that we will not be having PCNA trials next week because we won't be here. Um, Correct. So I will have voting up for the following week, but no trials uh, this coming week. Uh, Xbox NA, do not forget Monday help nights, Tuesday pledge nights uh, with the guild. So if you guys need anything over on Xbox NA, please feel free to join in on those. Jester's Festival is here. Uh, I know this is an outdated message, but whatever. Uh, it started yesterday. It started yesterday. It is running for one week and one week only because immediately on the 4th, we are rolling on into Jubilee Festival. So Jubilee Festival uh, is gonna have some new stuff. There's gonna be your, your dailies, but there's also gonna be fishing for a new style page. There's gonna be all kinds of other activities you can do, which are new. Which so means this event, if, There's uh... gonna be a mount you can get. There's gonna be cake. Let them eat cake. Oh, I got your so, cake right here, girl. What do you think? 
Um, <laughs> I mean, it's a flat cake, but... Random videos of fans, ceiling fans, will be quality content. Oh, I like it. Now that I read it, but $150. Wait, what? Uh, the ocean? I suppose if you like to. Now I really want cake. I it's also... $150. What am I missing? What? What do you mean? Are you talking about, like, pieces? Parts pieces? Oh, the face scan, the MK2. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, I completely... There's a gap between those. <laughs> Sorry. Um, mm, like the gap between my... My favorite cake? Ooh. He loves carrot cake with a cream... No! Icing. The only vegetable she'll eat. Good classic funfetti. Uh, but no, I would go with a chocolate, uh, triple chocolate death by chocolate cake. I hate carrot cake. Don't give me any carrots. Stop trying to sneak vegetables into my damn desserts. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, my my favorite is I I really like because I, I mean, I'm super glad they had it uh, at Wright's for our wedding. Is the uh, chocolate chip with the uh, cream cheese icing. Mm, that was good. Lemon I, cake. Or, or, an, or uh, apple spice. Pancake. The apple spice cake. Yeah, the apple spice was good. Cake is sugary trash bread. <gasps> yeah, you well, better be kidding, Brown Bear. You better I be know. kidding. I know who's not winning the giveaway. You'll make me a death by chocolate cake. You'll have one that kills. <laughs> oh, Lord. Um, Our amounts? I don't know. What's obviously basics? lunar. Uh, Amaz Amazon recipes. Basics, I think it is. Actually, I lied. For the mic, it's different. But the everything. The, the monitors... arm mounts. Uh, these we got the um, the Elgato ones, the low profile Elgato ones. Best. Oh, oh, for monitors. I'm sorry. Uh, I will have to double check and look to see what I bought. I will have to go back in my my Amazon search history. I'm pretty sure they're just the Amazon Basics. No, I don't think so. I'll have to look. I don't think there's anything like super Three special. Three layered chocolate cakes with chocolate butter, cream frosting. Fo oh, superior cake is New York style cheesecake. I do love a good cheesecake. Again, Cheesecake Factory, the cherry Ghirardelli's uh, cheesecake. It's popping. Oh, Ooh, that's Comes right. A shot I of do insulin. A, uh, a Black Forest cherry cake. Like, those are delicious, too. Like, the black. Light like and the fluffy sweet chocolate cake. Like, the nice, like, chocolate cakes with, like, the cherry, dark cherry layers mm -hmm. in between. I Cheesecake. Want <laughs> I want now. I want cake, but I also uh, want to drop another twenty pounds. So I see peanut butter cup cheesecake. That is a good one too. Our wedding cake was the most delicious chocolate ganache I ever tasted. We went with um, the instead of a regular American buttercream, we went with an Italian buttercream, and it was the best decision I ever made. It wasn't gritty and overly sweet, and it was the best thing I did. Second Ugh. best thing she did that day. The first one was select an ice cream bar. Wow. <laughs> uh, console, wow. you guys have joined us for Scions of Athelia and Update 41. Make sure if you're an ESO Plus subscriber on console, you go claim your deluxe bundle. You have until like April 9th. Don't miss out. <laughs> uh, better, better cream. It was buttercream and whipped cream. I wish we could have did whipped cream, but... Because it doesn't sit out well, it has to be refrigerated. Couldn't do it. Uh, don't forget to complete your Orsinium achievement challenge before the end of the month. You can get your mount and three costumes. Please don't forget about that. You have a couple more days. Um, we are gonna be posting our Jubilee video this weekend. We're a little behind on getting it together, so uh, make sure you guys um be on the lookout for that. Uh, we have our ESO 10th anniversary merch in the uh, merch store. You guys can check that out. Um, there is still time to sub on Kofi if you guys want the March sticker, which is this lovely rainbow with a pot of sweet rolls at the end of it. Because who doesn't love sweet rolls? Um, so that is the March exclusive sticker. Um... Please, uh, please feel free to to check out uh, exclamation Kofi. I'll give you the link 
uh, if you guys want that. Uh, also, you have until Perfect. the end of this week, aka tomorrow, uh, to vote for the April cooking stream theme. If you are a Kofi supporter, you will have access to that in your Kofi lounge. Ogre, uh, please have- tell me. Oops, sorry. We have a lovely channel uh, dedicated to our friends uh, that's up to us on Kofi with lots of polls and all kinds of stuff and, and fun ways to influence what we do on stream. So feel free to uh, vote because right now Garden is winning and I don't want to do a Garden theme. <laughs> Ogre, I'm please not tell interested. Me with nines. the uh, WWE, you smash his face into it uh, as appropriately done. Yes, or like so s- good. Uh, or like body slammed them that would be appropriate (laughs) uh yes bakes we had a um uh a fantastic turnout for our fundraiser that ended last week um or technically monday it ended monday uh and we have southern dawn taking home a gold sword we have Conductor taking home a silver sword and Hawkeye taking home a bronze. So we'll get those out uh, as we continue to make all of these dice. I apologize. I did not make a set on stream tonight. Um, I will I will get back into that. Um, but it was awesome. So again, thank you to Bakes for donating those. So we'll get those three out to you guys. And then... Uh, we will have uh, another set of three available for St. Jude. Uh, same thing for second and third top donors. Uh, we'll receive one of these beautiful uh, 3D printed uh, dice holders. Keep the dice everywhere. But it's beautiful. Thank you, Mayor Time. <laughs> Ooh, uh, uh, yes yeah, so this is the silver one this is actually the one uh, not this specific one uh, because he wants the, the red hilt but uh, this is the color the, the silver color that uh, conductor will be getting so new bug for accounts like for the first time like something legal stuff because the game to freeze and crash new players can't even play the game uh, nee, do we have anybody that has a ticket in uh, because if you have a ticket in, I can elevate that because that's a big one. Uh, send me the the ticket number, please. Yeah, that one that one's worth. Uh, not that the others aren't, but like yeah, that's send a, me that's the ticket number for that, and I'll 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 send that one up. Uh, D- uh, any of my DMs, where whatever DM is easiest for you to send it to, and I'll uh, put that one in the Discord. Yep. Get somebody to look into that real quick. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see what other announcements we got. I think that's what I had. Um, so other than the fact that, again, uh, schedules are going to get weird for a little while um, just because of all the things going on. So uh, we are it is 50 50 on if we'll be here Monday um, just because, again, I, I had talked earlier in the stream. Um, we got some really, really bad news that. Um, my grandmother's cancer has spread to the point where any day she may be off to the afterlife. So we are going to spend Easter in New York this weekend. Um, so it kind of is going to throw us a little bit behind on packing and, you know, getting ready for Amsterdam and because we leave Wednesday. So stream on Monday is up in the air depending on how much we can get ready before Monday for our trip for Amsterdam so um, just uh, just keep that that in mind if you don't see us we'll let you guys know either way uh, in the discord but again that one will potentially be up in the air uh, otherwise we leave Wednesday we're on our way to Amsterdam so we will not be streaming Wednesday uh, we will not be streaming Friday. Uh, we're like 99% sure 
that we are going to stream on Saturday. Sometime around 11, that's we think where we have a gap in our schedule. We will keep you guys up to date. Um, but ideally, it's for us to kind of close out and talk about all the things that happened, all of the news and, and all of that stuff. So again, it's 11 a.m. your time. It's like 4 p.m. our time there. So uh, we are we're going to try our best to do something on Saturday. We're bringing all of our equipment. We have our computer, our laptop. Basically, we're going to have our, our kitchen stream set up. So again, it's not going to be 100%, but we'll have all of that stuff. Um, so we're gonna do our best and then, uh, we'll be off Monday and Wednesday. We come home Wednesday, so we should be back by Friday to talk about all things Amsterdam here, uh, talk about again, all the news, anything that dropped that may be awesome to talk about. Um, and then we should be kind of back to a regular cadence ish, uh, until the last week of, um, of, uh, well, I guess sort of last week of April, the last full week of April. Uh, Nine's going to be going to St. Jude Summit. So he's going to be on the 23rd, 24th, 25th, I think. Yeah. Uh, three, or 22nd. Three, uh, three, four, five. Two nights. Three, four, five. Yeah, I think it's the 23rd, 4th, 5th. So the 24th, either there'll be no stream uh, yes, or... Yes, Nine, you're supposed to be on ad, sir. Now we have ads. <laughs> yes, Pain is going. Oki's going. I think Sage Toad's going. Yep. Um, Nelly. Our, our Nelly is going. All we the have PvPers George. are going. All the PvPers are going. We have George. So we have Hawkeye. No one to watch. Uh, Vandalia's going. Uh, who else? We have so many people going. Um, That's just from NA. Demon Cat Daphne's going. A, a lot of people. There's a lot of people going in the community. So basically, Super everyone's pumped. going. So there's no point in turning on Twitch. That's the moral of the story. <laughs> I mean, no one to watch, so <laughs> don't even bother. Yeah, Lucid. We're definitely gonna do some filmed content to do. Um, it's it's part of um, our. Uh, yeah, so, uh, but this is actually paying for our travel over there or for our, our kind of room and board. Um, so it's, it's you know, kind of part of the exchange is to make some content. So um, you guys can look for a bunch of shorts and things like that. But we're going to definitely film as much as we can and then put together like a highlight video after the fact. So, uh, so proper streaming <laughs> done by a proper uh, venue uh, is going to be the first three sessions of it. Um, so I'll actually, I'll talk about this. This is perfect. Um, street tour of Amsterdam. I mean, we'll, we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. Um, we probably won't be able to do like live streaming just because the data and international plans put a significant cap on what I can and cannot do. <laughs> so we'll see, we'll see what we can do. Um, but like I said, at the very least, it'll be some videos and, and some stuff like that. Um, but uh, in terms of Little Fox's question, is the 10th anniversary celebration keynote and a couple panels will be um, streamed live. Uh, so drops will be on. 45 minutes of watch time, you'll get the skin grad noble snack emote. And an additional 30 minutes will get you 150% XP scroll. So that's what we're going to do is, is do the eSIM. Um, cause Verizon does like $10 a day per line. So it'd be $20 a day for the two of us. We're there for like nine days or, or, or I'm sorry, seven, seven days, seven days. So we're going to look at doing the eSIM instead, but it does limit you on how much data you get and it's expensive and buy a SIM at the airport. Uh, but then I have to get a whole new phone number and give in my, um, child being uh halfway around the world uh i don't want my number to be an issue or have any sort of that's not what verizon told me so there's the e-sims that i can do which is just like the data um so as i said we're just gonna go with that but we'll see we'll we'll see 
how much data we can get out of it and, and what they'll allow me to do. So, um, but yes, uh, so the, the, the three sessions they are going to stream is first the 10th anniversary keynote. So the studio head, Matt Furor, is going to be kicking it off with a keynote presentation, talking about the game, its development, and the community while setting the stage for the excitement to come. I'm hoping that means they're going to talk about the uh, other events that are going on this year. That'd be great. Get a burner from 7-Eleven Dawson Airport sim in it. Fair. Uh, but again, I need a child. contact with my child at home. <laughs> so I need my phone to just function as is. Um, I know. You are, Bakes. Like, you are very adamant about this. <laughs> uh, so there, that's going to be the first one. There's going to be traveling down the gold road. So the ever lovely Gina Bruno uh, is going to be uh, joined by the art director, CJ Greb, who's fantastic. Uh, the scribing lead, Kira Ross Schlitt, uh, she was in charge of kind of overseeing the development of scribing. Uh, lead and counter designer, Mike Finnegan, you guys know him as Finn. Uh, he's the one that shits all over us with the dungeons and trials he puts out and him and his team. Uh, so you can thank him for all the deaths you've, you've suffered. Uh, zone lead Ed Stark, who again was in charge of kind of bringing West Wheel to life. Uh, and they're going to talk about what they're excited for in the Gold Road chapter. We're going to talk about West Wheel, the new scribing system, and Athelia from the perspective of the development team. So it's going to be super cool. Yes, me. Nee. Uh, I'll talk about that in a hot second. Uh, and then the third session is Origins of the Elder Scrolls Online. So Matt Fior. Pete Hines is coming in, even though you're tired. Uh, and some special guests will dive into ESO's origins. They'll talk about how the game first came to be, the initial pitch, the early days of development, and, which I'm excited about, some never-before-seen documents. So kind of the history of ESO, whether you've been playing this for, you know, one day or 100 days or 10 years, uh, it's going to be a really cool inside look from the development side. So those will be streamed on the Bethesda channel. Uh, if you join the Discord in the events, like at the very, very top of like the menu, it'll say one event. Uh, I have a reminder in there that you can kind of RSVP to. It is going to be 8 a.m. I put till noon. I, there's no end time on it, but I just kind of put a big block of time. Uh, so it's going to start at 8 a.m. Eastern time. Hush, Matthias. Um, so to answer Nee's question, yes, there is going to be a new, uh, or not a new event, another event immediately after Jester's. So Jester's is going to run until the 4th at 10 a.m. Eastern. At 10 a.m. Eastern on the 4th, the next event starts. It's going to be the Jubilee Festival. Jubilee Festival celebrates ESO's anniversary. Um, we are going to have uh, our guides up on the website this weekend, as well as the video uh, with all the details. For my ESO veterans, the event is different this year. There's a lot more you can get and do. So we're breaking all that down. It's all in the video, and I just got to put some music on this sucker, and hopefully it'll be good to go soon. But... Um, there's a lot more you can get out of this event. So we're going to make sure we have all those details. The website is technically updated, but it does not have my pocket guide, my video and tips and tricks. It just has the event details, but you can check out the, the event uh, on the website. I did already update that in case anybody happens to stumble upon it. So um, that will be running uh, as an extra long event uh this year again <laughs> much much longer than usual usual uh till the 23rd so you guys are gonna get um uh, like a full extra week ish and then some out of it um so but the day before i just prefer julie i i you are not you're not the only one me <laughs> I did the same thing. I did the same thing. Don't worry. I went on. I'm like, yeah, no, Mrs. Don't forget to, don't forget to prep your, uh, you know, your like daily your crafting grits and all that. Yeah. She's like, why? I'm like, well, you know, for the event. It's like, yeah, but we still gotta get through jesters. I'm like, honestly, the comments oh. on our, our jesters YouTube video, people are like, I definitely prepped for the wrong event. Like, I'm an idiot. It's like, no, so many people did that. So don't stress. So, Matthias, Matthias, thank you for the sub to Darklight. Yeah. <laughs> about that. 
Um, so yeah, you are not the only one at all. Only most people did it, nine included. So, um, but yes, like I said, we are going to go from one event to the other. My last like PSA here. Uh, I was even asking people how to get the cake. Honestly, I showed up at the dock on the first day, and I'm like, oh, wrong one. Um, you're you weren't the only one. Don't stress. Um, one one other PSA. I know we talked about it before. There is literally going to be an entire month straight of events. There is FOMO. There is wanting to get everything. Do not burn yourself out. We see it time after time after time after time. This is the biggest burnout period for people. Yes, Jubilee is right now, Bakes. Thanks for reading my announcements, sir. <laughs> So, uh, Jubilee is absolutely, it started, uh, Thursday. So you still have time. You only missed one day. You only missed one day if that's just, the case. Just, so. Jesters, jesters. Jesters. Sorry. Jubilee, see, Jubilee is not thing. right now. Jubilee is, Jubilee, Jubilee is not starts right now. on Thursday. Jubilee starts on Thursday. Jesters is on now. Jubilee starts Thursday. See, any? I just did it myself. <laughs> uh, any info on free ESO plus? Wonder if they will do it. I haven't heard anything. Usually it's a surprise to us just as much as it is for you guys. Mm. Um, I can poke and prod and see if anybody will mention anything. But um, usually what happens now is the crown sale. Um, yes, <laughs> Chester's is now. Jubilee is April 4th. Thank you, Conductor. Oh, my God. <sighs> but yeah, uh, the free ESO Plus, I haven't. I haven't heard anything. Like I said, plus. because this is the 10th anniversary, they are very much in a giving mood, so we may see it. Um, but like I said, we'll we'll definitely put that in the announcements as soon as that happens, if it does. Yeah, the crown sale should be coming. If anybody's thinking about buying crowns, um, usually they do crown sales three times a year. The first is, is during Jubilee. Um, and then you have QuakeCon in August and then New Life in December. So they get, that's usually their cadence that really hasn't changed in the last, I don't know how many years. So um, if you guys are looking to buy crowns, you'll get a good portion off, if, especially if you're buying the bigger packs. Um, you'll get up to 40% off the, the 21,000 crown pack is, uh, is, is like 40% off. Um, so it brings it down from like 150 to 100 or something like that. I, don't, I can't math, um, but it's worth it. It's crown worth sales, it. crown sales should be coming as soon as Jubilee starts. So again, I don't know how long it'll run because they're running the event extra long this time. But uh, again, we'll keep you guys up to date with all that info. Yeah, no worries. As it, we'll still do announcements from Amsterdam if things are dropping. So don't don't stress. Uh, we're also going to make sure. Oh, they shouldn't be 200. No. That's that seems a little crazy. Yeah, 200, 200 is way high. I know I pay $96 for the 21,000 crown pack dollars. Again, I, I know you're in Canada, so it may be a little high. It may be up there for you, but $200 US dollars. That's too high for us. Yeah. Um, I pay ninety six dollars when they're on sale. Um, for the for the twenty one thousand crowns, just to give you guys an idea again, U S dollars. But I know Canadian inflation or uh, Canadian uh, exchange is is <laughs> way different and awful some days. So um, so yeah, so that's what we got going on. Again, we have all the Jester's Festival details up on the website we have the pocket guide we have tips and tricks if you're really stuck on trying to complete an achievement we have some tips in there for you um we have uh the video please 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 check out the video if you can um i work really hard on them i want people to love my video uh so <laughs> uh even if you guys can just give it a thumbs up uh nee, i appreciate your first comment um so, and of course, if anybody wants the full written guide uh, and all of the, the written stuff, that's here as well. So, again, lots and lots of stuff going on. We're going to keep you guys posted from Amsterdam on all the important stuff happening. All right, Biggs, but... have a nice night. <laughs> Good night, Biggs. So, that's what I got for you, unless you guys have any more questions. 
If not, we are going to pull this giveaway for an ESO code of your choice. All regions, all platforms, your choices are Necrom or 1,500 crowns. That's what you guys get. So. Oof, 190 can, yikes. Yeah. So they are almost 200 for you guys. Um. That's astronomical for no reason. Boy, what a mole's <laughs> Uh Elder Scrolls Online. Are you on the Yeah, I'm drawing a blank. I don't know if it's like 160 for us. I just my my brain is is freaking fried. All right. Um, uh, $150, $150, $149.99. So I was, oh yeah, I was right, $150. And then I get them for $96. Such gross beer. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, three, two, one, go. Boom, a CB. CB. Please tell me you're still here. <laughs> CB, tell me you're still awake. Bakes, if CB is not here. Oh, oh. Yours, there we are. Never mind. Go to bed, Bakes. You're good. Good night, Bakes. <laughs> All right, CB, you've been around here long enough. You know, message me with your platform region. Let me know if you want Necrom or you want um, uh, 1,500 crowns. All right. Either uh, Discord or, or Twitch. You were, or you were around there. You were actually that close. Um... Electra, I hope you're still here. All right, you all heard the misses. Get out of here. Uh, oh no, that doesn't belong there. Get out of here. Stop, stop, stop. Um. Oh. oh. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna DM you. Hold on. Eh. Yeah. Oh. I was gonna say this too. This was the one from earlier. Yeah. They're uh, still still vibing. You don't have to if you don't want to. Yeah, you, right, you don't have you don't have to. Whatever you want to do. No, I got um, you. I got 50, you. 50 either way. Uh, exclamation raid one. If you are a sub to the channel, you want to do exclamation raid one and copy pasta that from Streamlabs. Exclamation raid two. If you are a follower of the channel, you want to <laughs> do that one and copy pasta it from Stream Elements. That raid call. Uh, we are going to head over to. <clears throat> uh, we're gonna head over to Soul Phoenix Gaming. They are playing some ESO. They're a wonderful individual. They're having a lot of fun, uh, and we're gonna go surprise them and have fun with them in stream. And you're all going to show them a lot of they're love. They're on because Xbox too. They're they are on an Xbox, Xbox player. Any. If you don't already follow them, you're gonna drop them a follow because follows are free. They cost nothing and hurt no one. They're a great way to support and promote the ESO community as well as the streaming community. Uh, we will hopefully maybe sort of kind of be back on Monday. Remember to spam their chat with all the love the Fox Den has to offer. Discord is not verified. Again. Fair enough. Wait, what? Uh, and uh, I'll have a safe and wonderful weekend, everyone. Thank you all very much for hanging out with us and being part of our community and Night being guys. absolutely amazing individuals. Have a safe weekend, and if you celebrate, happy Easter. If not, enjoy the hot time off. Bye. Bye.